Hello everyone! Hello and welcome to, uh, well, what are the final bits of this lovely little show that we've got for you today? How are we doing, chat? Hello! Hello everyone! I really hope that you're having a great time. It is so, so good to see you all here. Welcome to the huge chunkin' quiz of the season! Everyone, hello chat, hello. It is really, really good to see all of you here. Welcome to the huge chunking quiz of the season. Now, we today, chat, are going to be uh, going through a short quiz. Well, I say short, it's actually quite long. We're going to be going through a longish quiz where we are going to be asking you questions from pretty much every single huge season quiz. of the Magnus Archives. So you guys will be able to answer along at home. I hope that you guys get involved. Get yourself a pen or some paper because points got my one year mean nothing. Did, did you get your one year today? Oh my lord! Well done, J Adams 2002. That's epic. Good work. Good work. So guys, so here we are. The big chonking quiz of the season. Now, I'm going to go and invite all of my friends in here in just one moment because we're going to be getting some Rusty Quillers in here too. But it's your job to beat them, chat. I haven't told them this, but it's you versus them. Who's going to win? Who will know? Who has the answers? What are answers? Is new merch, merch available on Redbubble? I don't know the answers to any of these questions, but I'll tell you what I do know. It's going to be a lot of fun. How long will the stream go on for? We're going for a long, long time, baby. We're going to be here until midnight, pretty much. Uh, GMT. Um, so don't worry if you can't make it for the whole thing. The VOD will all be available right here online. But please play along for as long as you can. Make sure to hydrate. Make sure you got yourself some water. <laughs> We're ready to go. All right. Shall we invite the rest of Quillers in? Shall we invite the rest of the team in here, chat? Shall we ask them whether or not they think that they have the audacity to be able to take on the fandom? All right, chat. Let's get these guys right in here. Here we go. Oh, my God. Hello, everyone. Oh, oh hey. Hello. Hey. hey. We're just chatting about Welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Welcome, yeah, we guys. Are you speakers. are live on Twitch. Uh, thank you for joining me for the big fat quiz of the se I mean, the, the huge chunking quiz of the season. <laughs> Thank you for having uh, us. Copyright infringement of the season. <laughs> no copyright infringement here, my friend. No copyright infringement whatsoever. As, uh, uh, <laughs> as, as, the, re as the resident no, compliance no. spokesman here. Uh, <laughs> Ale Anil heard nothing as the resident compliance <laughs> spokesman. <laughs> All right. Okay, then, guys. Are you ready for the big heckin' quiz? Uh, yes. Do you perhaps yes. want to introduce who is a competitor on this quiz? I, well, I will do in just a second, but you need to ah. answer the question first. Oh, yes. 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 All right. Yes. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Who have we got with us today? <laughs> Hello. It's Anil back again. Oh, I'm on push to talk. Hi. It's Annie. She, her pronouns. Audio editor. Very nice. Come on, guys. M Martin's next. No <laughs> yes, Martin is next alphabetically. Martin is a problem, and he's still here. CTO. <laughs> I was there in the beginning. Lol. <laughs> We've made Mike face palm already. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Oh. Well, since you since you've not been a regular streamer, we needed someone to face palm. Thank goodness, once someone started to do it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Nico. Hey up. I'm Nico. I'm I'm Mike's best friend. I um I um I do the Wednesday streams and I do a little emoji hint from time to time. Welcome to the huge chunk in quiz of the season. Actually, important question, are you going to start doing emoji hints for Stella Firma? <laughs> oh hey. Oh hey. I was looking at the Twitch clips. Um, which ones are most popular? And it's currently me summarizing Stella Firma plot in under a minute. Yeah. Which I would highly recommend <laughs> nice. as someone who's not watched or listened to a single episode. Nice. One hundred percent. Have we got anyone else with us? 
Yep, it's me, Reese. I'm the tech assistant and basically the apprentice to Martin. And Hello, sure Reese. Remembers things. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome to the huge chunking quiz so, of the season. You, you, so you're the one who has to keep Martin in line. Oh <laughs> God, that's a good job. <laughs> no one can keep Martin in line. Oh my I lord! I do my best. I do my best. <laughs> and we they love do, you for do. it, my dude. We love you for it. <laughs> All right. Have we got anyone else with us? Yes. Yep, last and subsequently least, we have uh, me. I'm Ty, I'm the uh, finance manager, CFO. Um, I'm not I'm not in anything. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've actually listened to Is it called the Magnus Archives? No, I'm just joking, <laughs> guys. I'm just joshing. I'm a big fan. I'm excited for the hecking quiz. Oh, my Lord. Anyone else? Who else is in here? Is there anyone else? No, no. We've, we, we've run no, through in no, alphabetical no, no. order. All right. No. Then, then it is time. Are you prepared for the huge no. chunking quiz of the season? I mean, yes. That was the answer, right? It's Do I get a point? Point for Martin. <laughs> like seven. It's the honor system, so I guess if you're awarding yourself a point for that question... Um, point for Martin! Oh, points, points, points! You can give yourself a point for that question. All right, now. <laughs> wow. Guys, on one um, point. Guys. Just to let you know, just to let you know, in case you were concerned, this is a quiz about the Magnus Archives. <laughs> oh, nice one. Magnus <laughs> Archives is a podcast. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. <laughs> points, points, points. Points there. Points, 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 points for the sound effects. Perfect. <laughs> now, there are going to be spoilers for every single season from one to five in this quiz. Just to let Where? you know. Just to let you know. In order? In order. <laughs> points don't mean anything except <sighs> for when they do. <laughs> Do we have to wager points? Uh... Sometimes. Not knowing something is okay, <laughs> except for when it isn't. <laughs> my, my, Mike, we need my... you to write this book of inspirational quotes. My, you're, 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 hurt, you're hurting my quizmaster heart here. I'm really sorry, <laughs> Adam. There will be five rounds. One round okay. for each season of the Magnus Archives. What round are we in right now? This is round zero. So there's six <laughs> rounds. No, no, there's five round. rounds because it's one, two, three, four, five. This is round zero. <laughs> Do we get a point for not asking the question? As someone, as someone in chat says, there's five rounds except for when there's not. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So there are going to be five rounds. And the first round is based on season one. If you guys would like to take part at home, all you need to do is note your answer down. These guys in the Discord are going to have a go at guessing the answer first, and then you guys can spam in the chat what the answer is, okay? That's I should, how... I'm probably, I, I, should probably t I should probably collapse the chat so I don't see it. That's but... how this is going to work. So, these guys, these guys on the Discord call are going to answer first. You guys get a bit more time to think about it. And then when you know the answer, after these guys have answered, you spam the chat with your answers. Every, My... que every uh... right question, <laughs> every right answer gets one point. Some of the questions have a bonus question attributed to them. If you get the right bonus. answer to the bonus question, that's also one point. Hello, Lucky. Hey, Lucky's here. Welcome, oh, hey, Lucky. Welcome hey. to the huge hey. talking hey. quiz of the season. Hey, All right. Okay. Is that clear? Are, are we are we clear on the rules? Absolutely. All of them. Every single as, one. As, as clear as it is ever going to be, Mike. Perfect. <laughs> as clear as the waters you're kayaking. Clear as that ending. Perfect. <laughs> Points for knowing the rules. Yeah, there's one point we get... for understanding hey, the rules. There we go. Hey. Good work, I'm on everyone. Three points already. I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this also King Guinevere gets a point for asking what a rule is. 
Um, so... <laughs> Good work. It's a straight edge. Sit nice. <laughs> <laughs> Point for Anil for that. That was beautiful. It's a contour, yeah. All right. Oh, no. So, season one, right? So, I'm going to ask you ten questions about season one of the Magnus Archives. Each correct answer gets one point. Discord answers first, then chat. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, then yeah. let's go. Yeah. Welcome to the big chonking quiz of the season. Question one. What is the name of the first episode of the Magnus Archives? Magnus Archives! Ah, oh, that sounds like one point all round! Yay! Yay! And the chat knows it as well! Boom! Excellent work, everyone. Excellent work. Uh -huh. Bonus Bonics. question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> is Anglerfish one word or two words chat? To... <laughs> Put it chat for us, because I know this. Or you guys. One word. I can shout anyway, whichever one's right. It's Correct. Yay! <laughs> points, points. But it is fr it's frequently spelt as two. I've seen it frequently spelt as two words, like uh, across things. And there was a lot of confusion at, um, right back at the beginning of season one whether or not it was going to be one word or two words. Great work, um, because uh, jo because Johnny spelt it differently in different versions of the script. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And that it brings us some... nicely on to question two. Before when Magnus launched, wrong? how many trailers were made for the show? Oh, three. Two. 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 Wait, I read Martin's tweet this morning. Two. It three. was. It was two. There were two hey. trailers hey. that were released. There was the pre-launch trailer and the launch trailer. There's two trailers that were released. Oh, so there's one point. I know there is... because I uploaded them. There is zero. There is zero point one, zero point two, and zero point three in the back catalog that were in the back catalog. Ooh. Yes, but they weren't aired. Ooh. I'm pretty sure all three were aired, but mm, okay. Ooh. Well, <laughs> it's my quiz, and you get a point for two. So, sure. okay, so fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is, unfortunately, this is where this is this is probably a quiz where my knowledge of the bat of of behind the scenes stuff might actually shoot me in the foot. Uh, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question three. What was the name of the second voice to ever appear on tape in the Magnus Archives? And now I will now for this one, this has a bonus point. So I will give you a point if you know the name of the voice and the name of the actor. Oh So the character the and voice, the actor. The, char the character Naomi is Hearn? Naomi Hearn, huh? No? Correct, yep. The character yes! is Naomi Hearn. This one. And the, the, the actor? actor, the voice actor is Katie. Uh, Katie Story. <laughs> Sorry, Annie? Katie Story? I heard what you said, Anna. What, what did oh, you right, say? No, Annie? I was saying. I just, said, I just looked at last night and I cannot remember. Oh. I was actually trying to get that episode. Do you know what? I will give Anil two points. So the actor's name was Katie Davison. And, okay, Davidson. and the character was Naomi Hearn. So very well yeah. done to all the people who got that nice. in the chat at home. A few people said Elias and Ben. Unfortunately, Katie Davidson beat Ben Meredith to the yeah. punch. So by not a lot, like because it's the uh... yeah, because I think Elias is the next voice, isn't and it? And that's uh... where they start getting tricksy. Here we go. Question <laughs> four. Which two people from Rusty Quill were voice actors and sound editors in the Magnus Archives Season 1? So... I, I got it. Mike Debo and Alexander J. Noel. He's nailed it! He's, he's nailed it! Good work, Martin. It was, in fact, me and Alex yeah, and Newell. Alex. So, one point Points. if you've got both of those names correct. Well done to the chat who knew that as well. Let's go, BB! Are we ready for question five? Yep. All right. Yeah. Question good at five. What is the first entity that we meet in the series? First one given a statement stranger. about it. First one that the The stranger? It is the stranger. The stranger. Very yeah. well done. Fish. And a bonus point if you know what episode the stranger was introduced in. Episode, episode one. one. Episode one. Episode one. <laughs> Excellent work, everyone. Points all round. <laughs> That's hey. self-referential question. Just yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I got help writing this. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were that one. 
Thanks, everyone. Um, all right. <laughs> Good work, Chad. Martin, Good work, what, are you, what are you doing in the performer lounge? Uh... I'm scoring my points or I'll forget. <laughs> no, that's not a bonus point. That's not a bonus point. All right. Four, five, six, seven. Question six. Eight, nine, ten. What are the first words spoken in the show, not including the trailers? So the test, first test. ever words spoken in the Magnus Archives. Test, test, testing. Test, test. One, two, one, two. You guys are good. I would never have got I it. Don't guys, I didn't remember you that. You guys yeah. are so close. The chat has actually got it, though. The first words ever spoken in the Magnus Archives are <coughs> test, 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 one, two, three, right. That oh, is how the Magnus Archives begins. Well the... done, chat. So well done to everyone at home who got the correct answer to that. Good work. I well will done, give chat. you guys points if you said test, test, because, I mean, that's uh, basically the first word. So that counts. Thank you. Points for Martin. Points everywhere. Thank points. <laughs> okay. Question number seven. These are going to start getting progressively harder, so bear that in mind. Oh, God. Question number seven. Later in the series, John takes an axe to a certain suspicious and mesmerizing table. Oh, in in which episode did this table first make an appearance? Episode three across the street. Oh, Nailed it. it. Yeah. Nailed it. Like without what? hesitation. Oh, that was that good. Annie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Sorry. Excellent work. Back. I'm gonna slow down when we get to season two, but I'm I I I listened to season one like four or five wow. times straight through. Jesus. So. <laughs> wow. Annie, you're a superstar. Excellent work, and well done to everyone in the chat. I see you guys spamming across the street in episode three. Good work, everyone. Question eight of season one: Who leased an office at one hundred? Jurgen Leitner. Jürgen Leitner. <laughs> Anil's got it right. Anil gets the point here. Did you guys know that at yeah. home? I can see you guys did as well. Yeah, lots of people are saying Leitner. Excellent it's work. The, uh, it's the uh, episode where we where we get, where we we get hear tell of the teenage Jerry. Uh, yeah. It is indeed. That's very true. A bonus point to uh, Anil. Stra because... strange, is it Strange Corridors? The name of the episode? I uh, uh, I can't remember the that's name gonna, of the episode, That's going to bug me. I can't remember <clears> the name <throat> of the episode, but you're certainly right. Yeah. All right. Good work. Strange Passages, that would be it. Strange so. Passages. It does sound quite right, actually. Okay. Question number nine. What is John's hometown? Bournemouth. What do you guys think? Kids. I don't know. What do you guys think? I didn't think? know he had a hometown. I just yeah, thought he just became a being. Listen, I'm an American, so all I need to know about him is he's, like, in London. That's it. For anyone who said Bournemouth, the point is yours. Well done for an right. everyone. John's hometown <laughs> is, in fact, Bournemouth. Fun fact, I actually used to live in Bournemouth for a short spell of time. Very bloody part. Are you born there in Bournemouth? I was not born in Bournemouth, no. Oh, um, a few people are, though. Work. I've been to a stag do in Bournemouth. It wasn't the <laughs> I'm best. Just I'm sure that was... <laughs> Studying. <laughs> anybody do you want it to mention, Mike? No? Should, should we yeah. be mouthing off about Bournemouth? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's less that you should ask about the mouth than more that you should ask about the born. <laughs> Question... Well, there we go. Question number uh, 10. Question number 10. In mouth identity. the first episode, what does John say he primarily expects his archival assistant, Martin, to contribute towards their work? Delay. Nothing but like delays? No. To anyone yeah, who said bad. delays. Thick thighs. It was, it was, un <laughs> Martin, would you, would you care to elaborate? No, no, Mike, no, Mike, no. <laughs> Perfect. If anyone, Martin. to anyone who said delays, you are absolutely bang on the money. It was, in fact, delays. Well done. One point for getting that correct. Good work, everyone. And Martin, one point for using the word thick. 
So, yes, points! That, <laughs> that takes us to the end of the season one part of the quiz. Tot up your points at home, and you guys tot up your points as well. Let me know how many points you managed to get. What do you guys I'm like? I'm at 11. Way? I'm on nine. I've got eight points. Let's go. You, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go down the line. Alphabetical order. So I believe we're starting with Anil. 10 points. So. 10 points for Anil. Very good. Oof. Seven points for me. Is that seven? 11. 11 points. Oh, wow. 11 points. All right. Martin? Oh, it's push to talk, isn't it? I've got eight <laughs> points. Eight. I've, I've, taken, I've taken push to talk off. Uh, eight, eight. Excellent. Eight points. Oh, yeah, Man, the point. chat's doing super well. Like, loads of people in the chat have got 11 points. Uh, <clears throat> Nico? I've got I've got nine points. Alrighty. Reese? I have three points, because I went to public school. That's <laughs> yeah. totally fine. I went to public school as well. And, last but not least, Ty. I think I have about five. Oh, about yeah. five. Perfect. So Ty has circa five points. I believe that means that Annie is currently in the lead with 11 yeah. points. Ooh. It's still all to play for, everyone. You guys at home look like you're absolutely smashing it. So congratulations if you have managed to get more than us or, in fact, the same amount as us. Are you guys ready for some season two trivia? I've got push the talk off. Good work. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> nice. I, might do I think it was necessary for Among Us. We're not. We, I, I think we're, we're we're all right to take things a bit more calmly here. Perfect. All right. The chat is on yeah. board. This next section calmly. will be about season two of the Magnus Archive. So all of these questions are going to be specifically about season two. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Apparently we're lagging. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Oh, heck, indeed. Oh, heck. Lag. Lagging. Lag. 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 Am I frozen? I have. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Why? Why is this happening now? Hello. All right. Hold on. Is it the Batara? It's not the Batara. I changed the Batara. Oh, heck. In between straight. There we go. Wow. It's doing things. Whoa! Oh, you nailed it. Center oh. cleaning. It was two thousand frames per second. It, it right is now. back <laughs> to like yeah, eight hundred million frames a second. <laughs> My camera is feeling a little bit worn. I think it's fine. One, 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 Season two. <laughs> Everyone, same rules as before. Each correct answer yeah. gets one point. If there's a bonus answer, you get one point for the bonus answer as well. Are yeah. you ready? As well. Yeah. Indeed. As well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Then. Yes. Very good. The first question of season two. What was the first episode to feature a supplemental? 41. Supplemental what? 41. The su supplemental. Yeah, 41. The little yeah. bit of the, that was supplemental. Like I think thing. they're following me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm super paranoid now. If you oh. guys... Yeah, he goes, he, yeah, it's straight off the bat. He, he's paranoid from season from episode 1, so 41. It was, in fact, episode 41. But what was the name of the episode? It's called episode 41. <laughs> it's called Supplemental. Ah. <sighs> No. Oh, um, uh, no, that's the first episode of season three. Damn it. Um, the, the, the worms fight back. The, the worms chat, the worm the chat have got it before you guys, I'm afraid. It yeah, was, I can't in remember. fact, too deep, I'm afraid. Oh, that's that's it. So yeah. I know, because we... Oh, no. DMCA! DMCA! No! Martin, stop! It's too realistic! <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's the episode where he where he discovers where he ventures into the tunnel. So exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Very well done for all of you guys who remembered that at home. Excellent work. All right. Question number two. 
Who gives the first statement of season two? John. Martin? Martin? Yeah. Martin. Martin. No, Martin. it's John. If, Martin. Martin. Yeah. John. It's Martin. Martin. if you Martin. said Martin, you are wrong. I'm afraid it was John who gave yes. the first statement. Sure. Of season two. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. So everyone at home was absolutely <laughs> screaming, John, and some people have been given a little bit of Martin, but I'm afraid <laughs> it was, in Martin. fact, our belovely, our belovely, it, whatever. It was our belovely <laughs> Jonathan Sims uh, who, in belovely. fact, did give the first statement of season right. two. You just, you just tried to trick people out who wanted to say Martin. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're, you're enamoured by having, like, chat just call your name, aren't you, Martin? <laughs> Martin. <laughs> now, I have a random bonus question for you that I'm going to throw in here. Which is from a totally different season, potentially. But that's what bonus questions are for. You're a map Here is Here is a little question to keep you on your toes. What character's statement was recorded approximately... <laughs> approximately 10 to 500 miles from where Alex was sat directing. There was one Whoa. one statement that was recorded around 500 miles away from where Alex was in fact directing the episode. Which character was it? Mikhail Salesa? No, that's, no, that's more that's than 500 be more miles. Than that. It's so, yeah. 10,000 is in Australia. Anil, Anil is saying around... No. Oh, no, yeah. sorry. No, no, I've read this wrong. It's 10,500. <laughs> yeah, that is... Yeah, it's it's yeah, 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 you in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's 10,500. Look, I didn't put the space <laughs> after the... <laughs> after the <laughs> cover. <laughs> Listen. Sometimes <laughs> in quizzing... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Sometimes yeah. in quizzing, spaces yeah. happen. They do, and you just have His to roll with it. <laughs> so if you <laughs> so if you said Mikhail Salesi, you would be absolutely correct. That yeah. is one bonus point to you. Do you want do you great work? Do you want the first name? Is that an extra point if I tell you the actor's name? It's not another point, but you can it's tell it. Rachel Nee. It's Rachel Nee. Ray Chong Ni, yeah. Yeah. Excellent He's work. Amazing. Excellent fantastic. work. Excellent work. Metaphorical <laughs> points there. <laughs> metaphorical. Put that down as one <laughs> metaphorical point, Neeks. Good work. Oh, God. It. Are we scoring on the complex plane now? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. I, uh, because why I've not? added one. Yeah, I have. I've, I've got 10 real points and one metaphorical point. Sure, I've got four. Yeah, I added, <laughs> I added <laughs> a new count? line to my notepad that says yeah. M1. <laughs> no one's going to acknowledge my complex joke. Oh, oh boy. <sighs> All right, then, guys. Question number three. So, hopping back to season two, what is the semi official name of the special police division dedicated to investigating supernatural occurrences? Section 31. 31. Of course it is. Of course it is, Section 31. <laughs> All of the chat are screaming it right now. Well done, everyone at home. Well done to you guys. Everyone who said Section 31 gets some points. So I'm not giving myself a point for that. I just said I section until I don't had it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and chat obviously it is it is a pure pure coincidence that it is named the same as the agency in Star Trek, uh, or at least Star Trek <laughs> Space Nine. Uh, I, I I actively asked Johnny that uh, um, when it came out. Uh, um, it's like, and he had no like he had no knowledge of that agency in Star Trek. Uh, um, it was pure coincidence. Uh. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Yeah. Thank you very much for that little tidbit, Anil. An extra point to you. So, hey. Good work. <laughs> there are points for tidbits, apparently, so keep it up. Tip, right. Tidbit points. Tip, tidbit <laughs> points. Exactly. Question number four. Speaking of tidbits, Daisy and John share a recurring nightmare. What familiar object does this nightmare involve? Tim. (laughs) (laughs) 
Is oh. it? Oh. Chain? It's not the coffin, is it? Fine. Oh. That's what chat's saying. Because that would have been yeah, season. That would have been later if it, it were the yeah, coffin. Yeah, like. The... Well, the coffin's in season one, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but Daisy, one, Daisy yeah. doesn't interact with the coffin until. No. Three. No, Daisy does interact with the oh, coffin. Oh, you're right. It's it was in the back of the police. It's the coffin. It was in the back of the van. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. coffin. No. Coffin. That's how she got sectioned. That's right. Coffin. So, is the coffin, in, is the coffin, coffin your final answer? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're absolutely right. It was, in yeah. fact, the yeah, very yeah, coffin yeah. from episode two, Do Not Open. So very well done to all of you guys who were screaming that out in the chat. And great work to our contestants here as well. Incredible. Yeah. Good, good, yeah. good. Do good. I get a point for saying Tim, which was a character that you played, Mike? No, you lose a point <laughs> no. for saying Tim, Martin, because point, uh, Tim is not fine. a nightmare. Tim is, in fact, a legend, I will have you know. Tim is a dream. A Tim, Tim is a bicon legend, yes. Exactly. So, <laughs> oh, Lord. minus one point for Martin for saying the nightmare was about it. Tim. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, how, is that his metaphorical... Point? Oh, God. Or metaphysical point? Uh, no, no, point. these are his metaphysical. real points. These aren't his because he didn't real metaphorically point. say Tim. He actually said right. Tim. So uh, he keeps the metaphorical uh, point and loses a real world to point. So. But he'll, he'll show up at Buy Comic Con, right? Oh, 100. Oh, 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 100%. Uh, 100%. <laughs> points? All right. <laughs> question number five. <laughs> what building was previously located on the site of the Magnus Institute? Millbank Prison. Mil ah, ah. So quick. Yeah, it was the technique. Yes, Reese. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, if you said Millbank Prison, you are absolutely correct. It was, in fact, Millbank Prison. Great work, everyone. Great work. Um, if you guys, I saw all of the chat before uh, anyone even had a chance to answer, just like <laughs> spamming Millbank, Millbank, the prison, <laughs> smirk, you douche, and all of this stuff. So... <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, wait, is that, is, that, is that a command or an insult? Uh, it's actually the new commands that we've added into Nightbot, exclamation mark, oh, smirk, you douche, uh, We'll, take, <laughs> we'll show you the real site of the Magnus Institute in London. Um, <coughs> so, if you guys are, <laughs> if you guys are good and ready, oh my, I'm really sorry. Loads of people are trying it now. I was lying. It doesn't do that. <laughs> Mike, Mike, remember, you are a streamer. You are an influencer now. People will listen to what you say. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but okay, saying. one point to anyone who put exclamation mark smirk you douche before I said it didn't work. <laughs> All right, episode, episode, um, question, <laughs> question number six. Statement six. Yeah. Which, oh. statement six, which episode was the first to feature the voice of Gertrude Robinson? Now, before you answer, there are two points mm -hmm. at stake here. There is one point for the episode number, and there is one point for the episode name. I can tell you what it's about. That's all I remember. Is it episode 69? No. And what was that episode called, Nico? Nice. It's... Nice. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's... <laughs> Is it episode 51 or 52 Crusader? Okay. Interesting. I can't answers. remember what... I can't remember what... I'm, um, I'm pretty sure it's I think Crusader. It's called... I don't remember... I believe it's called Tightrope. Crusader. I believe it's called Tightrope, but I don't remember it's... what... Oh, oh, God, yes. Oh. Tightrope. Tightrope comes before point. Crusader, yes. Uh... Annie and Ty get the points. So yes, Woo! it was in fact episode 44, Tightrope. And very so well done close. to everyone who remembered that at home Nicely as well. Nicely done. There uh... are so many people who were a little bit confused. They were so close. I saw a few people typing 43, 45. It was episode 44, Tightrope. So very, very, very well done if you guys managed to get that one. I, was I gonna feel say the stakes are so high right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
The stakes are high and the points are higher as we move into question number seven. And, and, and the contestants are even higher? Wait, uh, wait. I mean, wait you, can't, you can't announce that on Twitch, Adam. <laughs> We're going to get the channel taken down. Well taken. <laughs> That was a question, <laughs> not a statement. Uh -huh, uh, like yeah, says I uh -huh. should get the points cool. 60, you know? Everyone in chat is just like 420 work. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give myself a point. If Lucky says I can have a point, I'll give myself a no, point. No, Lucky can't give... Oh, my God. No, it's, 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 don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Episode <laughs> number seven. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm just going with that now. <laughs> <laughs> What What is the name of the oh. ill-fated barista who becomes romantically involved with Agnes Montague? Oh. I want to say Sean, but... Okay. Is it... No, it's... Oh, Daniel's it. brain is tensing but... as the wrinkles ah. deepen ever further. I have... Is it... So, like, I know Johnny was really into his alliteration for all the names in the Magnus Arca. So I think it's like Bobby Bobbitson Barista. <laughs> Bobby Bobbitson Barista. I knew this. I, yeah. I know this, but it's just not coming to me. Yeah. I feel bad because I know that all of I have chat minimized, but I know that they're absolutely screaming it. They are yeah, screaming it right now. They are <laughs> screaming <laughs> it. It's, I'm still gonna go with Sean. I just I, I, I feel like it's I just don't with remember that. his name. It's like, like, that's all I know. Sean is an interesting choice, Reese. Sean is an interesting choice. Damn it. Charlie from Busted. Like, is it not like Barnabas? <laughs> Charlie from <laughs> Busted. Interesting. Oh. Is it? Is it Barnabas? Uh, it, interesting choice again there, Ty. Oh, Jack. Nathan? Jack. Jack no, Nathan. Jack, Jack Barnaby. Uh... It's Jack yeah. Barnaby. Jack Barnaby. Jack Barnaby or Jack Barnabas? Something like that. Jack, Jack, I, oh. Jack, I'm pretty sure is right now. Jackie B. Jackie B. <laughs> is that your final? Uh, is that your final answer? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Jack Barnaby. Uh, yeah. I don't have any better answer. I'm going with Jack. <laughs> All right. Well, if you said Jack Barnaby, you would be wrong. It was Jack Barnabas. It's right. the correct oh. answer. Oh. So you get one point if you got Jack Barnabas. Excellent work to everyone who knew that at home. I could see you absolutely oh, spamming yeah. the chat here with the answer. So very, very, very well done at home. You were Romantic so King. close, guys. You were so close. Yeah. Yeah. I could have started with, an with an S. Barbus, because that's Skyrim, <laughs> and then <laughs> not canon with <laughs> Gary Catman <laughs> in the Magnus Archives. <laughs> <laughs> no, Barbus is Barbus is the Magnus Archives. So that would Barbus make is... Gary Catman is Agnes Mont. No, I don't think we'd want to go down that line. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I would love to RP that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my playing, God. On, playing it on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, I am. I might just have to do it now. I actually have some special <laughs> Magnus content tuned in for Saturday, so Ooh. keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> Episode I... question section eight. <laughs> okay. So... In which episode does Melanie ask about the other Sasha? Oh, that's now, no, 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 before you answer, before you answer, before you answer, again, there is one point for the episode number and one point for the episode name. I just re-listened to this one, too. Names. But episode I know it's going to be later on, it's going to be in a later half, like, last sort of ten episodes, because it's a yes. big thing when it's a not Sasha. That scared the crap out of me, that's the most scariest thing to me, the not Sasha thing in Microsoft mm -hmm. Archives. I'm going to guess that's episode 71. Okay, I'm going to go 74. 76. 74 and 76, okay. okay. I'm going to go with 58. Sorry, which, which did you say, Reese? I didn't hear that. I'm going to go with 58. 58, okay. And Anil? 73. 73. Although, you know, what, you know what's the biggest horror about this question? Huh? What's that? Your apostrophes are in different typefaces around other. Yeah, Anil, <laughs> Anil gets a point for noticing that the apostrophes are different. <laughs> Alright. So the Episode title. Also, 
What your now, question what mark is the... also an upside down S. Did you want to did you want to guess the titles for your episodes as well? Or do you want to just answer with the number? There's something about Wait. crossed out Mary and putting Sasha there instead. That's the title, I think. Okay. <laughs> is it not? Is it? Is it? Because it's the ghost. Because it's the ghost train episode. It's the ghost it? train one, yeah. Okay. Oh, Which, yeah, I like that. Kind of, I like about that another woman. It's content warnings, mismatched apostrophes. So, <laughs> the correct <laughs> episode number was seventy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Seven. And, oh, and the episode seven. name was The Kind Mother. A oh, very oh, well done to oh, everyone at home. Yes, it is. Uh, it oh. is indeed. A very God, well a done to everyone at home who got that. A very well done. That, that was a genuinely tough one. And that I'm really with was Nico, that a really yeah. good question. Uh, I'm with Nico question. that that actually was one of the more like scary episodes for me because that was one of the ones that I edited. It really? Is. Um, yeah. And, yeah. That was, yeah. yeah. Oh my lord, I remember. Oh, Mike, me and you are now both ex Magnus editors. Cause oh, yeah. Me yeah. too. Danny. Hey, Fred, so. Yeah, yeah. we're all ex Magnus <laughs> editors now. The, the Magnus Archives was a podcast. <laughs> It was, it was the Magnus Archives it was, was a podcast. No. Look, yeah. the, the the story may have ended, but the content continues. There is still plenty <laughs> of both season content to, to come, which is still technically yeah. the Magnus Archives. Oh yeah, yeah. And and everyone nice. everyone should tune in to my unofficial spin-off where uh not just not just the fears exist, but every other lovely human emotion exists as an entity. And so yeah, it's just a spin-off <laughs> where like nothing bad happens and you know because Jerry Key was just like, oh, there's the fears is the only entity, and I said, no, fuck you, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you, I think you and a lot of the fandom. Uh... So a load of people in the chat are saying, Mike, the answer was wrong. It was actually seventy six, the smell of blood. I it was the ghost train. Uh, that question. Ooh, yeah. No, it wasn't Ghost Train. It was apparently the smell of blood. But that question yeah. was actually written by uh, one of our like audio editors. So um, when I was doing my checks, I trusted them on that one. So it could be seventy six instead. I thought yeah, it was seventy seven. Blaming. I thought you were gonna say. And I thought you were gonna say like the podcast may finish, but our friendship is eternal. And I was. Our friendship like, is oh, eternal, Nico. Oh, it's, it's jelly bean time. <laughs> and also, by the way, <laughs> oh my lord! A, a, friend, a friendship, a friendship cemented in sugar. Oh, Basically, that, you, that you're like a nice cinnamon. Box, I like the cinnamons. <laughs> All right, guys, you, are you ready for the next question? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Question number nine. Oh, back to numbers. Boring. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm mixing it up. Mm. We know the name of the uh, uh oh. sorry we know the name of only one member of the band of Gris grifter's bone what name does he go by alexander oh. j bone <laughs> alexander j bone is an interesting choice uh grifter's bone i thought he just went by the name grifter's bone i can feel no, I think, the isn't chat it, screaming at us right is now. it I alfred feel. bone Okay. Oh. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure his name is Alfred or Albert or something like that. All right. I'm seeing a John in there, but like not like the. Name <laughs> was it no, Tron? Was... <laughs> <laughs> was it Tron? <laughs> Can you imagine the crossover? <laughs> Oh my god, that means if you crossed Whoa. the Magnus Archives with Tron, you'd have the ultimate cyberpunk dystopia. <laughs> oh my lord, we put the archivist on a light bike. Uh... Uh, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> oh, no. Exactly. Man, and they play that weird disc game. That would be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tim would have been it's excellent at that disc game. Yeah, Tim would have been with cassettes, excellent. though, not discs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just doing it with all of the DVDs that John tried before realizing that he couldn't use them and then moved to tape. 
<laughs> stacks of DVDs, yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, so the answer to question number nine is Alfred Grifter. Oh, is that Alfred Grifter? Grifter. Oh, his oh, his oh, name bone, was, yeah. in fact, yeah, Alfred Grifter. That is the only name that we know from the act Grifter's Bone. Yeah, I couldn't remember the Alfred Grifter or Alfred Bone, and I went for the wrong one. That's oh, right, that's, Reaper is yeah. Arrow. Uh, chat does say Johnny Deville, but chat is wrong um, in this <laughs> So uh, popular headcanon. Uh, indeed. That's a, that, yes. that's a metaphorical point, certainly. <laughs> uh, that's one metaphorical point for the chat, then. There we one go. So, chat, point. you can have one metaphorical point. <clears throat> the final <laughs> question of the season two round. Are you ready, guys? I'm ready. So so ready. ready. Here we go. Yeah. Episode uh -huh. 10. Mike Crew, or Michael Crew. Yeah. <gasps> Frequented a small bookshop during oh, his God. university years. Helen's gonna kill me. Where he, me the merch where he eventually shirt. obtained uh, Ex Altiora. Where was that bookshop located? I read the wiki on this oh, yesterday no. to chat about it on stream, and Mary it's just fiddled. Is it? Ch is it Chichester? Is it? I thought it was like the Alps or something. I'm guessing Edinburgh because at any time I only know about five locations in Britain and that's just <laughs> one of them. So I'm going to guess that Not one. In Perfect. I, I'm going to go the Swiss Alps because that's where you first, you had the first good cow. <laughs> I, it's, yeah. I reckon it's I reckon it's Reading because that's where Reading was invented. Oh, oh yeah. That's, oh, that's a good a one. very that's a good Martin, one. you can have a point it's for that. I think it's either Chichester or it's Oxford, but I can't remember if Mike Crew went to Oxford or... I'm going to go Oxford because I remember it being when he was at college. I just don't remember where. I'm going to also say Worcestershire because that's the only other name. British cats. I love it. Yeah. Reece, I'm just like, I know about sharp locations. That's it. That's, that's all. Reese, you can have Oxford. one point for knowing two places in the UK. <laughs> no. Good work. And that's not a metaphorical <laughs> point. No, no. Listen, I've given up trying to give serious answers once I realize I don't know anything, apparently. Yeah. Like, I know plot points. I'm not going to well, remember the the episode names. I'm just going to give, like, joke answers. Just that's, fine. Welcome to that's, my game. that's fine. In <laughs> honesty, that's kind of what I was expecting from this, not to give real answers. But, like, we are blasting through this quiz at a rate of knots. Right. And I'm like, well, oh, Well, everyone's just like, oh, I remember this specific, like, you know, like, oh, I remember yeah. the tweed jacket, that one yeah. character. Like, he remembers everything. And I'm <laughs> Like you can good. tell, you can tell that Anil and I are both trivia people because every time my guys yeah. a question, we're both like, "Oh God, I know it. What is it? Yeah, <laughs> gotta get it. Mm. yeah." I'm not like I'm not super fun to play Jeopardy with it. So. Oh, but you're really <laughs> to play Jeopardy with because when I'm on your team, you can just do all the answers and I can drink. <laughs> we need to have me you and Brent do a trivia competition just to see how competitive we get. Mm. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I would love that. I would. Why don't we make it now? Why don't we really enjoy now? that? Yeah, so, <laughs> the correct answer, the correct answer Alfred Bone Grifter. is Chichester. Yes! Oh, oh my god. And Lucky, oh, and Lucky's given us 10 well community done. gift subs. Oh, thank you, Lucky. Thank you, thank you very much, Lucky, you ridiculous Chichester. person. I, I appreciate you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you so much, Lucky. Uh, so, one point if you I... answer Chichester. What's up, Ty? Mike, can I have, have a point for knowing a thing about, about Chichester? What do you know about Chichester? <laughs> I know that it was it's named. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Well, it was named by, by Romans and the book El Ex Altiora. That's latin so i've made a tenuous connection and i'd like a point for it please you can have a point for that tenuous connection excellent <laughs> work Ty. excellent if work I, if i if oh uh, if am i right in thinking that chichester was siren fester in roman times i would see why you'd think Shut that Anil, Anil, I'm really sorry, <laughs> but you in fact lose a point for not knowing oh, it correctly. Oh. Previously, in, historically in Rome, Chichester was previously just called Chich. Um, <laughs> and Chich, 
they had a streaming service Fine. as well. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. I knew that. Fine. I, I will. It was obviously just a stream, but like, that's, but they invented oh, Aqueduct, so that's where it came from. Boo. <laughs> I'm, I'm just my metaphorical point, so. I'm just still like not over the fact Ty was just like, I would like a point for that, please, because I didn't know we could just ask for a point. <laughs> Well, getting points. You can't think I've been getting any points. I, I thought you know were just being you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Bruce knows me. Guys, would you like? That's the end of the uh, season three round. So, would you guys like to? Know? That's two. season two. That's or the season end. Two, Mike. That's what I said. That's the end of the season three yeah. round. So, <laughs> so would you guys? <laughs> I said it on the screen. <laughs> I look. Sometimes, when you quiz, numbers change. I can't stop that. Yeah. Like, I can't, I'm not in control of that. So You're not in control of the second quiz. round, except when it's Quizzing not. all over the place. Exactly. <laughs> would, you, would you like to take a break before we go into season, season three? Yes, I need more gin. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> These guys are going to go for a quick gin break, chat. I recommend that you guys do as well. Drink responsibly, and we will be back. Gin's up. In uh, <laughs> and we will be back in a a little bit. We'll be back in like five or maybe back. ten minutes. See you in a sec. Back in a jiffy. See you in a sec. Hello, chat. How we doing? How we doing, everyone? I am back. Uh, I don't think my colleagues are back yet, but I'm I'm certainly here. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope that you're enjoying the huge chonking quiz of the season. How are we guys? How are we doing? Um, I thought I'd just come and say a little hello. Come and hang out for a little bit, see what you guys are up to. Check in. You know, you guys doing good? You guys feeling it? You guys feeling quizzy? You guys feeling this? By the way, if you're new to Arky Streams right here, remember to hit that follow button up there. You get notified every time we go live. We produce loads of content like this. It's always really good fun, right guys? Hey! You guys Some of it's good? better than this. Some of it is yeah. better than this, that's true. Uh, some of it is worse than this, but that's the wheel that you spin. <laughs> um, <laughs> guys, the guys are feeling very quizzy. All the guys in the chat are feeling a little bit worn. Very quizzy. Yeah. Worn. worn. Worn, yeah. Uh, worn. Anxiety is rising. That's that. You get some dino nuggies. Oh man, you need those dino nugs yeah. instantly. Just in, just get, get them. them right now. If you don't have the there. dino nugs, it, just find them. On Republic, I'm going Instacart to time. Make, make them go extinct <laughs> again. <laughs> make make, make go extinct. Make dino, dino nugs, nugs extinct again. Ah, dino, dino nuggies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, dino nuggies. Yes, that was one of mine. <laughs> 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 oh, there's things on the screen. One of them was an exclamation mark. Oh no, what's happening? Oh, Mike is just zooming in. Oh no. Oh no. Mike's Mike's getting getting Mike. Who inflated Mike? <laughs> Timmy, here. Mike pump. Mike makes a quiz. You will give me 100 points. We do not. Mm, no, actually, hang on. We're after the watershed. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we're way after. We've been able to swear this entire time. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Oh man, Jay, uh, who, said th who said that they gave me bits for points? That's not how this works. This isn't pay to win. Get out of here, EA. What are you doing here? Can't buy points. Uh, can't you can pay for them. You can't bribe him. Oh uh, my lord. You, Mike I can't, is very I can't bribe be bought. Mike's an artist. I'm truly. <laughs> 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 Ella, my goodness. Bits for love. Thank yeah, you very much. Now, that is why you give bits. Thank you very much for Ella. the 1,000 bits. Please bear in mind Thank you, you very, very much. You do not hey. have to give us any hey. bits. We appreciate that you all are. Please live responsibly. Yes. Don't dare give us anything. Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, Unigoat JJ says, uh, cheer 100. I definitely haven't been cheating by having Spotify open with the Magnus Archives. <laughs> oh, cheaters. Well, you, you have been now, now. doing what? Have you have been doing what? <laughs> On no my one, quiz? No, no one's... No. Whoa. Look, 
no yeah. one no one said that this was a closed book exam for the chat. Uh... <laughs> no, that's yeah, true. true. And besides, points don't mean anything. So <laughs> you can cheat if you want to. <laughs> what? You lured us here under false pretenses? I told you at the beginning that the points mean nothing, apart from when they do. <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm waiting for those occasions. Yeah, Take yeah. My bits and my love. <laughs> All right. the Magnus Jagness podcast. So there's not much <laughs> about this. The, Mag the Maggie Jaggy podcast. <laughs> no, distributed, no. distributed by Rusty Quilly Willy. Am I right? <laughs> Mike, Mike, yeah. Mike, if I, Mike, if Crazy. I give up, a, if I give up one of my metaphorical points, can I ask you never to say that ever again? Uh, <laughs> Quilly Willy. Or one of the other ridiculous. And any there. of any of nice that. Can I can I speak at those points since he's he's willing to give it up? Just I'll just take his point. Can we distribute Anna's points, please? I know, I said one of the metaphorical points. Not all of my points. <laughs> alright, I'll take I'll take the metaphorical point. I can't say ever again, but I'll try and keep a lid on it, alright? Okay, for the rest of this stream. For the rest of the stream. Okay, alright, thanks, Sadil. By the way, um Batman. Batman is, uh, Batman is Hagal. Um, I, <laughs> a nice yeah, present, the Magnus Archives ending on my birthday. Thank you very much for, oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy oh, birthday. You Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Birthday. Wow. Uh, oh my Lord. My <laughs> condolences to you. Cause that ending was rough. <laughs> <laughs> that ending was rough. It was very rough, but congratulations on birth. <laughs> Um, are you guys ready for season three? Which is where we're going to be yes. moving to now. Where is it called the next runs? Oh, so, oh, we'll so based on season next three of run. Set Mang's run. So all like. of these questions are going to be about season yeah. three of the Magnus Archive. So I hope you guys... The Magnus Archive. The Magnus Archives. The next run. The Magnus Archives. I, oh, what, what do you Mike, scream Mike, Mike, yeah. Joker? Yeah, what? We have we have a new competitor. Do we? Do we? Thank you for a wonderful Who's story. Who's our new competitor? Where's that? Super oh, Smash Bros. New Challenger thing. Who's wow. oh! a new challenger has arrived? Who is it? What? Oh. It's Lydia. <laughs> Lydia. <Yeah! laughs> Woo! Welcome, Lyd. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, I've had some wine. Perfect. That's exactly <laughs> the kind of atmosphere <laughs> we want to bring. <laughs> You're needed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, the ship postal art calligrapher. Thank you very much for the raid. Oh my goodness. Welcome, <laughs> welcome raiders. Oh, thank you very much. Wait, who was that? That was the ship. The, the ship post calligrapher, calligrapher is, yeah. is a person oh who does. Oh my gosh, Mia, my friend. Hi, Mia. Nice. Validation. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can clearly see uh, here, yeah. uh, the next round will be based on season yeah. three of the Magnus Archives. So it's like I say, around. the next run will be based <laughs> Okay, I, 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 feel, I feel a lot less bad about all the wine seeing yep. the oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike whizzing around the place. I don't know. Ah, all, all your all your runs will belong to us. Maggot <laughs> 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 archivist. Mag um, uh, not quite chrome. Hello. So, some, some, <laughs> somebody set us up the archive. Hmm. Someone did set right up the archive. All right. Mm -hmm. Are we ready for question one? Wait, yeah. wait, wait, yes. wait, wait, because everyone's asking about the chickens. It's too late, they are asleep. My chickens oh, are asleep. No. Oh, oh, but what they but what oh, they want Chad. Lid, what we they can want make, we can make chicken noises they as, want a, as a replacement. Should we do that? Facts. <laughs> Welcome to the quiz, Lydia. Hello. <laughs> it's been this the whole time. <laughs> We're all very drained. Oh, no, what have I done? Oh, no. Mike's doing the teacher thing where we're wasting our own time. No. Egg. <laughs> our own time we're wasting. Of this time. <laughs> time means nothing at the moment. Time so you might not be able to hear the chickens but you might at some point be able to hear my pig screaming behind me. They've been very Aww. loud today, so. Aww. Aww. Wow. Little guinea pigs. Yeah. Yep. Little hairless guinea pigs. A little, a little guinea pig. Actually. A penny gig. That is in fact, 
a very good segue. Okay, try something else. Oh. To question one. Yeah, let's give me point oh, one. Oh wait, hold on. Seamless. Hold on. We've got attempt two. Okay, I'll try something else. Mike, plus give me points, not for the bits, but in the name of love. All right, you can have two points Ooh. for that. Well, so, so yeah, this go. is it depends which one you prefer more because I feel <laughs> like Mike, me, and you are going to be at different ends of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, See, there's more than one character dies at the end of season three. <laughs> How can I sound anything? I'll give you a couple. I'm plastic. Hope. Because there's Hope died yes, at the end Hope. of season three. Hope, exactly. There's Tim, Hope there's died. Nicola, and there's Hope. Tim well, there's died. also, I mean, there's Sarah Baldwin as well. Sarah Baldwin yeah. technically yep. died I, as well. I haven't, um, I, didn't, I haven't read the question. <laughs> <laughs> they're all cheating, they're watching your stream. I had a whole joke lined up for this as well. Oh, oh let Mike have his joke. Okay, go. No, 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 mind wipe. I, I, I refuse. <laughs> no. So which which beloved character dies at the end of season three? Where was Tim. the joke? Tim. Tim. Where was Nicola. Nicola Osnov oh. and Tim, but Nicola Osnov is and hope. by far hope. the best. hope. And up from bacon and up. The answer we were looking for was Tim for this one. Of course it was. <laughs> well, I mean, I've got to give myself Martin. points to Nikola Orsinov as well. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Having, you not can't. No, there's no points for Nikola Orsinov. Unfortunately, <sighs> there would be points for Nikola Orsinov. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> not Nikola Orsinov. Orsinov. And I can no, hear yes. the distinction. Nikola Orsinov didn't die. Nikola Orsinov lives on. Die. But also chat, died. Chat has, has reminded us that John also technically died, but I don't know if he was beloved. At That's that a technicality. Point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Technically correct. Technically correct. Metaphorical points all correct. around. The best kind so, of correct, Daniel, yes. Yeah, I'm giving so you. Got, I'll give you a metaphorical point for that one. I've got two metaphorical points, one lucky bones point, <laughs> and fourteen normal points. I can't points. believe lucky. Oh, you're 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 racking up points like it was um like currencies in a free to play game. Literally, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hey Frank. Hey, what's going on? Hey Frank! Hey, Frank. Welcome to the huge hey, chunky Frank. quiz of the season! <laughs> Technically oh, you quiz? started the quiz without me, I'm so... I can't believe you started it without me, how dare you? Whoa! Thank you very much for the one Oh no! Bits. This is, um... That was a bit! Let me read it! Hold on! Let him read it! Let him read it! Let him read it! I haven't read the question yet! Uh, Anil, you need to calm down. <laughs> this is... This is clearly a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, for fuck's sake. Go on, mate. <laughs> you can do on. it. Ah, oh, what was. We've been the... in... <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't get the giggles now. What was the generic name of the police officer it. that pulled over John and Julia Montauk? I don't know the, the surname, surname, but I can give the actor's name. <laughs> so, so there is. I'm gonna... <laughs> I mean, if you, know, if, you know name, if you know, if you can know, if you know the actor's name, I'll give you a bonus point. I don't actually Brock know. Winstead. The, the actor. Brock Winstead. Yeah. It's well, Brock. I know the actor. Oh, I didn't know the actor. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, music music editor Brock. Music played editor Brock. Yeah. It's Max Musterman. Mmm. Mm. Is that what the rest mm. of you guys are saying? Yes, I yeah. have that answer as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> points yeah. all around there, points exactly all around. Yes, it was, was in fact, oh, Max Musterman. Yeah, now, yeah, I will where? give you the genuine bonus point that I will give you for this one. Genuine bonus, yeah. Gen the genuine bonus point for this one is why were they called Max Musterman? Because they were uh, formerly Jan really Musterman, true, and they are the funny. names of the characters from the uh, from anatomy class, and yeah. they are the generic dead dead body characters, a la it, Jane Doe, and etc. That is yep. that a beautiful wow, Exactly, so cool. perfect. I, actually, that I mean, beautiful. well, it's a very it's a very yeah. fulsome answer, that's for sure. The the correct answer mm. is that in Germany, apparently, Max Musterman yeah. is used as the equivalent of John Doe. So yeah. that's why that's they were that's sense. why they were Max that's Musterman. What I don't just yeah. Yeah, I I said. Words. it was it was what Anil said, but it doesn't actually have a link back to that previous episode necessarily. It's just that that well, is the generic does, name. It, it 
it it does because that's where they come from. <laughs> just give Anil his point. Yeah, that's where that's where Doctor Joe comes from later on too. How? Just made the point. <laughs> He's got the point. He's got the point. I was getting to boycott the entire company if Anil didn't get his point. <laughs> Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that we didn't have you boycott. Oh, it was the Erica. Sorry, I do apologise. It was Erica Musterman, not Max from Anatomy Class. Yeah. See, oh, Anil, right. when yeah. you when you like yeah, have yeah. to correct yourself, then it's like, then I seem <laughs> like I'm going out of my yeah. Suddenly, <laughs> I'm not right anymore. So now you, you guys do that. have unfortunately yeah. preempted oh, question bro. three, <laughs> which was <laughs> which Magnus Archive said it played the role of the police bro, officer, bro, bro, which bro, in bro, fact bro. was our. Uh, bro. Brock's, uh, Brock Winstead. Um, so, very well done for that. Sorry, chat, I told you not to do that. So, You've already got the points for that. Good work. Cool. Good work. Cool. That's cool. That's good. I got a point. Double digits! Woo! <laughs> yeah! Good work, Mike. Oh, my lord. Right. Question number four Who is the big bad in season three? Nicholas. Or the stranger. Or the stranger, or skin. Recon and Hope. Not Nicola, Robin but the actress Jessica I mean, Law. I mean, <laughs> technically, as we've learned, I mean, technically, as we've learned, the big bad in every season is Annabelle Kane. Mm. I resent that. She is an absolute darling. Uh, uh, no, it's Jonathan Sims. Hey, she's Jonathan Sims is the big bad. Yeah, yeah Jonathan Sims is the big bad in every T season. Or, or uh, Tim Stoker's trauma. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that is absolutely true. I, but to be fair, if we if yeah. we had that in every round, we could be like, "What is the big bad? Oh, trauma!" <laughs> like that literally trauma. fits into yeah. every yeah. single <laughs> season. None of them therapy other than Melanie is like really what really what signed them. Like they should have just gotten therapy. Yeah. So that season six. that boy needs <laughs> therapy. <laughs> <laughs> So the wow, I haven't, I haven't thought about Frontier Psychiatrist or the <laughs> Avalanches in an age. Go on, well, we're going to go on a trip now. <laughs> yeah. So the, the correct answer, of course, was Nikola Orsinov. So points to everyone who got that. Well done for getting that one at home. Yay. It's about to get a little bit tougher. <laughs> Ooh. The so, going gets tough. The tough get... The, t the tough start quizzing. Indeed. Uh, apparently. So question five <laughs> is who created quiz Nikola Orsonov? And a bonus point if you know how she was created. Well, it's Grigor Orsonov. Greg, yeah. Yeah. Grigor, and, um, Grigor Orsonov. Oh. Now I have an answer here for both. Gregor Orsonov is correct, so you've already got a point for that one. Anyone know how she was created? Johnny wrote the, basically TV. Johnny wrote the story and then she got created. Metaphorical <laughs> point right there. Yeah, no, that's it. Do you mean who wrote the character, or do you mean the character of how Nicola created herself? Because she created herself by basically nicking body parts from all the victims. Yeah, and there was mannequin from um, the department store. Mm. Uh, that's not necessarily the answer that I have here. Chat actually well, knows the correct answer. Of course they do. Or was yeah, it just like... a hive mind of geniuses? Yeah. Nerds. So yes, well done, well done, chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> Only the cool kids <laughs> forget, forget things. <laughs> So, well done at home for getting uh, that it was, in fact, Gregor Orsinov who, in fact, yeah. fought Nicola. Yeah. The bonus answer for this one, though, of how she was created is that Gregor created Nicola from what was left of Grimaldi to serve as the lead dancer uh, for the future oh, attempt yeah. at the yeah. unknowing. Oh, uh, this is new information. And I want to dance yeah. the world new. Exactly, Nico. You're creepy and I appreciate you. Next question. Points for Nico. <laughs> points, <laughs> points. points for Nico. <laughs> question episode section six. Good. What was different about the intro music to episode 119? It, it was, was the music. music. Calliope music. Calliope music. Calliope. music. Calliope. Calli Calliope. 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 Clown music says, chat, you are all correct. You are all correct. Very well done. 
points Thank all you. around. There is a point. Bonus. I, wait, I have another thing. So oh, yeah. the reason oh, why it's Calliope is because we are all clowns for listening to this podcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes, I have another yeah. point now. Reese, <laughs> I think that that is a metaphorical oh. point right there. <clears throat> metaphorical point. There it is. <laughs> Great point. work. Great work. Now there You're is a bonus point. And Johnny is the ringmaster. <laughs> Too true. <laughs> oh. Can I just say the thing that w- there's the moment when when they're talking about how to pronounce Calliope and and uh, Johnny says I've even heard some people say Calliope and she says who and he says Americans. I'm offended by that. I've never heard anyone say the word Calliope. Right? Like, Calliope, which is what's making me want to say that. Honestly, yeah. I've heard a couple it's, of people. Isn't it like? say uh, Calliope instead of Calliope. I think that's because... Sasha... kind of degenerate doesn't say Calliope. Like, what? Yeah. It's... Sasha, Sasha says it's that she prefers it. Calliope uh, as think... a pronunciation. Which is okay, uh, but Calliope is is hmm. just off. Do you know what yeah, though? that's just deranged. I, I think I it, wow. Magnus Archives. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> strong. Oh, no. <laughs> that's so beautiful and pure, Nico. Thank you. It's actually Manus. The G is silent. <laughs> I think though it's like the word inventory though, right? Have you guys have you guys ever actually heard someone say Have you guys ever actually heard someone say the word inventory and questioned it? Is it inventory? Inventory? How uh, where's the stress? I've, I've, in heard, that word? I've heard I've heard both the uh... I like probably use both. Uh... It's it's because I'm a dirty Yankee. It's inventory. There we go. Thank you, Thank you very much. Inventory. Yeah, people in the chat are with you inventory. as well. Inventory. Yeah. Yeah. In- I think I probably say both. Intertonti. Intit. In. Intit. Intentionally. And got got a bad one in there. And if you guys are a fan of the entities in this, then you can actually go and get some for yourself. We have pins available, and also we have stuff available on our Redbubble and T Public pages. Brand new merch, merch is just merch, launched today. Merch, merch. Go merch. check it out. Merch. If you have, if merch. you've been affected by any of the yeah. entities in this quiz, uh, please then contact. Just, uh, yeah, just <laughs> write, write to your friends. The entity. The entity. So there's a bonus question. There's a bonus question here, guys. Now, you absolutely smashed the answer for this one, which is that, of course, we set Calliope music instead of the uh, the standard Magnus intro. On our YouTube channel, when the episode aired, what... We've all seen that. What... (laughs) What was different about that in terms of the introduction? Yeah, there's fl- there's like flashing lights instead of the usual smoke effect. Thanks very much for the 1,000 bits as well, by the way. An anonymous cheerer. Oh, I thought Anna just cheerer. gave you 1,000 bits. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> this is bribery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to pocket those. And then the bits. <laughs> so the correct answer was two things. Number one, we changed the logo's color to red, and number two is that we added Ooh. circus style spotlights um to the episode yeah, as one well. Of them. Uh Got does one. anyone know one uh does anyone know what happened at the outro? Probably not. No. Did no. you it sing was the outro? on fire? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The clown face popped out. We... Alex Newell was edited with a clown face on him and he and he jumps around the place and he does a little dance and then a million Alex clowns pour in from either side of it and uh, some other stuff happens. Close. Yeah, and then one of the Alex clowns reaches out of the screen and honks yeah. your nose. He just reaches yeah. out and grabs your face and you get a little... Yeah. <laughs> Was, okay, I just want to say I was 100% ready to believe what Martin was saying, and then Frank, <laughs> and then he just, and I was like, oh, okay, it's a joke. Okay, it's a better joke. Never mind. Okay. I, thought, I thought this will actually happen at the end. Before that, you were just like, that sounds right. That sounds like oh my just god. Oh my god. Oh, Reese, please never change. So the the answer to that, unfortunately, uh, oh, one person in the chat knows. One person in the chat knows, and that was the flashes on the outro music were changed to red instead of black. Oh, so all right. Question: I like, say higher end, but the Magnus Archives finished. So true, very Magnus true. Archives was a podcast. It was a podcast. Um, <laughs> question number episode seven. 
On yes. RQ streams, what Woo! is the season three meme that keeps oh, popping up come on. more than any other Magnus meme? So you mean it's gonna be Tim related? It's the Tim going kayaking. Oh yeah, the character kayaking. Yeah. Can, can I ask Eric, why did that come up? Like, why was the why was it's it in one of the? Uh, that's where it is. It was in the Q and A. Someone asked Alex yeah. or Johnny like, yeah. what's happened to Tim? And one of them just went, he's gone kayaking, and then yeah. And that's where it all. <laughs> and yeah, the whole from there and... thing was born. Because <laughs> you got a T-shirt at RQGG18. You got given a T-shirt for RQGG18. Though, I did. I still that have that T-shirt. Oh, um, ooh. I was trying to I only remember something else. Streaming. There's a there was a, after um, one five nine. There, Alistair and um, and uh, Johnny and Alex have an extended conversation about the kayaking since Peter Lucas is headed off as well. Mm. <laughs> He's headed off. <laughs> <laughs> headed off. <laughs> He's headed off kayaking. Yeah, it's true. He, and, he did. As oh, as God, is the off Well, I mean, it's all canon now because <laughs> me and me and Alistair Stewart actually yeah. did the entire like um, RQGG bonus <laughs> stuff over on YouTube. So <laughs> all of that is canon. That you know, Peter Lucas and Tim are just together kayaking somewhere. Kayaking. Yeah. Um, now, yeah, unfortunately, um, in that's... answer to the question, none of you guys got it right, but all of the chat did. Oh. And the answer is, of course, Dig. So well done to the guys oh, in the chat. Oh, um, great oh. work. Uh, dig is the meme dig. that keeps dig. coming back and will never go dig. away. It's here to stay. Dig. dig. And we love dig. it. Dig. Because it's good. Dig. dig. And we appreciate dig. it. Dig. <laughs> Greatly. Dig. Massively. Dig. Dig. Wholeheartedly. <sighs> From the bottom of all of our hearts. <laughs> and the rest that. thereof. <laughs> Thank you very and much, everyone. And so, Question season eight. Yeah. Question, yeah. What yeah. piece of entity fan art did Rusty Quill receive more than any other during season three? TP. You what, sorry? It's gotta be Nicola. Uh, let's assume it's Nicola. Yeah, it's got to be Nicola. 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 Okay, it's interesting really choice. Right. Interesting I think, choice. No, I think it's Tim. Oh, it's I think it was something with right? Oh, it's uh, Entity. Entity, Entity fan art, yeah. So Entity. it would be the stranger, oh. not Nicola, I guess. Yeah. 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 No. Would be stranger, or it would be... I don't see them through. No, season would it be um, Spiral? Because I think it was... Um, yeah. I think it was oh. Michael after episode 101. One, yeah, oh, Michael McCann, yeah, yeah, yes. Mike, Mike, totally right. you brought Mike. it back around in the end. Excellent work, everyone. <laughs> it was in fact fuck hand. I mean, uh, it was in fact Michael. <laughs> so <laughs> Michael was <the> distorted. <laughs> so very well done. If you guys got that at home, um, <laughs> yeah, that was it. It was like in fact. Ads. The one and only. We were bombarded with uh, pictures yeah. of uh, of good old Mikey. So, excellent work, everyone. Cosplay. Primes, I mean, Don't points all round. Yeah. I oh, think yeah, the cos cosplay. Uh, more, more of the cosplaying happened, like, later. But, like, there was just an awful lot of, uh, well, no, an amazing lot of spiral mm. fan art uh, or mm -hmm. spiral distortion fan art. Uh, indeed, um, indeed. Yeah. All right, then, gang. Are you ready for episode nine? Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Section nine. Wow. Thank you very much for the 1,000 bits. Oh, what was the name of the bad. film produced in episode 110? <sighs> what was 110? So one of the film. It's a sneak preview. It's the one who's edited you. you. It's the web, it's the web film. <laughs> Um, no, so no, it's so it so it's the one that like um, the it's a remake. The it's a remake of a Japanese film. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> um, because it's based on a book that the director found. Uh, yeah, which we all suspect is a light now. So, yeah, yeah. suggested it's the one like, where yeah. like he made his whole house into this horrible. No, yeah. no, no. It's be it's is before it? that because Neil Lagoria was supposed to be working on this film but wasn't attached to it. Uh, and the right. it's the giant spider in the warehouse that eats the whole crew. Yes, exactly. Oh, oh. 
right. but I can't Isn't remember. Is it that Japanese name? version of the Spider-Man movie that the same <laughs> studio that does Toei uh, makes? Yes, <laughs> we've got it. Mike, that's yeah, my yeah. final. If it, if, it, if, it just, if it just Spider Island or something like that. Uh, yeah, Spider Island, like okay. Any other guesses? Uh, George. George. Spider George. Spider George. That's a, that's he was an outlier and point. should not have been counted. <laughs> is it spider non-binary it could be spider non-binary spider good guess any other guesses good name for me. i mean spider i looked at chats so non-binary is my gender spider brackets non-binary is my gender interesting choice frank interesting guess he was trying to do um intro to spider verse is what <laughs> Ooh, I'm yeah. I'm gonna do. intro to the spider verse early, yeah. Very interesting, very hot take. Unfortunately, though, none of these answers are correct. No. No, I didn't think they were. The correct answer... You're telling me it's not Godzilla, King of the Monsters? <laughs> the, correct... <laughs> <laughs> the correct answer was... Pacific Rip. No, it was Widow's Weave. I was so ready to believe you. Jesus. Snatch that weave. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord so there you go everyone now i know yeah. that loads of you at home got the right answer to that one so very well done to everyone who did um yeah it was widow's weave um these ones are cancel the rest of the stream and watch pacific room i mean we can do if you want to <laughs> I've never seen Pacific Rim, actually. I've not no, seen Pacific Rim either. I'm missing out. Yeah, I know. Oh, Would you rather die on the wall this. or on a Jaeger? <laughs> Great. I know that sinking is involved. Is that, People is have that to be drift, drift Is that where Drift compatible? compatible comes from? Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. Okay. It came from yeah. there and also um, Need for Speed uh, Tokyo Drift. If you're in control. Out of control. Control. You're not in control. Oh, was it, it also came from a uh, drifter's bone. Yeah, all one giant shared universe. Fast and the Furious, Pacific Rim, Magnus Archives universe. All one shared. It, who thing. knew? <laughs> who it. knew that they would all think? come together? Let's send a treatment to Guillermo del Toro and see if. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we'll get we'll get a hologram of Paul Walker. Oh my Paul. God! Yeah, that was. Oh, cool. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I still, I'm still sad about that. You, yeah, it was a very sad thing. To be fair, it was a very sad <laughs> thing. Oh, right in the feels, Anil, and that takes us quite nicely no. to question ten. Um, <laughs> Is nice it about segue. a hologram of Tim? It's not about Paul Walker. No, this is about feels. <laughs> um, in episode 89, twice as bright, John is feeling a bit chilly in the presence of Jude Perry. What didn't take place <clears> in their <throat> greeting that made Jude sound a little offended? A handshake. Excellent work, everyone. Absolutely. Points all round. It was, in fact, that John refused to shake her hand. So, very, very, very well done. Now... That brings us quite tidily to the end of season three. So, tot up your <laughs> points at home. If you guys have uh, if you guys have got points or you're keeping track of your points, drop them in the chat. Uh, you guys as well over here in our Discord, tot up your points and let me know how many you got. In order. Yeah, I've definitely been keeping track of those. Is, uh, is <laughs> oh yeah, it... points. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, got, I've got some of those. Some people uh, have got 69 I trade points. These in for tickets at the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Each, uh, maybe for, like, maybe for a, a meal or something. Yeah, I'd like to trade mine in for a severely overpriced like hair clip. <laughs> I want a slinky. Pride one, pride one. Yeah, I'm gonna save mine in until I come back next time so I can get that three-quarter scale twenty-dollar yeah. bass guitar that's at the top. Yeah. Thank you very much for that one thousand and fifty <laughs> bit. <laughs> Oh, quiz, so it's, you get items from artifact storage. You do. Oh, uh, you do. So you, you get. Do. No, it's, it, it's different. Like it's different bits of the table that was smashed up because then they're not selling those off in the gift shop. You've not been cheating. Well done. <laughs> All right then, guys. Uh, I yeah, I mean, I have a points total. If but obviously points don't matter. So. Lots of people. Well, you've got to beat a lot of people in the chat because a lot of people uh, yeah. in the chat actually have four twenty sure. points. 
Um, it's yeah. going to be difficult, Anil. What nice. do you want? I've got over yeah. 9,000. You've got over 5,000 <laughs> points. Uh, over 9,000, Mike. Yeah. 9,000? Uh, like the meme. Over 9,000? Over 9,000? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Man, one person has got 69,420 points. That's a lot. Look at that. It's amazing how things, Mike. Anil, how many points do you have, mate? Uh, 29. Perfect. Jesus. Is anyone else keeping score? Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. I'm, I'm taking this game very seriously, Mike. Very good. I have um, seven points. Seven points. I got very respectable. 24. Yeah. 24. Very nice. None. I None. have. Uh, face yourselves. Yeah. yeah. Two metaphorical points. Perfect. Yeah. Oh. One lucky bones point. One lucky point. <laughs> yeah. And 16 normal points. <laughs> Why are you counting them out like they're change? <laughs> because I don't know what the exchange rate is. <laughs> so, keep them separate for now. Yeah. Wonder Woman meme says, Mike, I legit had 69420 channel points during the Quiplash thing, and apparently I now won Twitch. Well done. Wonder Woman meme, you yeah, just won the huge yeah, chunky quiz. Excellent work. Go home. Yes. Is over. That's it. We're done. Yeah. We can all leave now. Guys, we're out yeah. of the job. <laughs> God. Do you think they'll let us go home? Yeah, they'll actually let us leave <laughs> yeah, now. Finally. I know, yeah. We're not well, locked in here. Yeah. I mean, I'll put my phone down. <laughs> I mean, I started exactly. work at 7 a.m. this morning, so. Uh... Jeez Louise. All right. I don't know if anybody cares, but I think I have about 20 points, and then I have. Um... Also, sixty-nine four twenty metaphorical points. Ah, Ty, yeah, I, yeah, don't yeah. Know, I don't know what you're saying. I yeah. care. I care about yeah. the number of points that you have. So, okay. very because well points done. Because points mean prizes in our heart. They do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, perfect. Mike, Screw I'm that. Taking... I want actual, I want actual <laughs> stuff. Give <laughs> 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 me actual gifts. That's what I want. Give me the merch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, here we go. Are you ready I'm for ready. season four? Questions yeah, about season editing. four? This is where I start better knowing some things. Uh, yeah. So, so the next round uh, will be based on season four <laughs> of wow. the Magnus Archives. Um, if, you guys, if you guys are, if you guys are ready for this, you, you really couldn't. You, you, you really couldn't afford to buy some more letters there, could you? Well, no, we might be playing Wheel of Fortune here. Uh, yeah, we suddenly wow. moved. Hanging out the nerds turning over here, Anil. Just be glad. Oh. Vanna, Vanna, uh, Vanna, can I buy an H, please? I would love it if we had Wheel of Fortune on the quiz. <laughs> we could, we could try, but we might get sued. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, we'd get sued <laughs> completely. But I'm just, you know. It's almost like things are deteriorating as the quiz goes on. <laughs> almost. Goodness, who Mike. would be emotionally drained after today? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd, I'd like yeah. to solve the puzzle. It's. Uh, uh, what would you like to solve it round. for, Anil? Uh, the next round will be based on season four of the Magnus Archive. Excellent so. work, Anil. That's absolutely right. You've got the points. Good work. <laughs> Anil walks yeah, away. Well deserved. Anil walks away yeah. with all of the points for that round, but it's still a little to play for. I love this Fallout Boy song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. No. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, Mike. <laughs> Question yeah. number one. Elias Bouchard. Which yeah. character was hiding that oh they God. were Jonah Magnus through all of the previous seasons? Who is Elias Bouchard? Elias Bouchard. Elias Bouchard. Bouchard. There is only one correct answer to this, and that is, of course... Tim, Tim Stoker. Tim. So anyone who <laughs> says Tim, Stoker. excellent yeah, work. Tim. You got the points. Um, yeah, there you go, Tim. <laughs> Cannon. It was actually a Shiva giant control room. <laughs> Indeed. Chat <laughs> like the outrage. Oh, the and someone just gave bits ending. and said Elias Bitchard. Perfect. <laughs> I saw Elias Bitchard. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, no, Elias Birdshard said that we can loop this back into, like, our Hannibal Boyfriend streams. Oh, and yeah. All make more or Elias Douchard, yeah. if you want to, if you want to yeah. circle it back oh, to <laughs> anything else <laughs> that you've done. Elias, Elias Douchard. 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 <laughs> 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 question, question two. Question two. Yeah. Magnus yeah. One Four One Doomed Voyage. In which yeah. island group did uh, Mikhail oh. Salesa pick up the camera? Oh, one. Oh, wow. I'm gonna say it's not gonna be anywhere near Britain for this. Yeah. All right. Was nowhere it? near Britain. No, I was the Isle of Man. Interesting choice. Isle of Wight. Oh, even. The Isle of Wight. Very... Can Canary very Islands. Holiday. The I'm Canary. I'm say the Caribbean Island? Islands. The Caribbean. I'm gonna say the Virgin Islands. Oh, the Virgin oh, Islands. Oh, it's, oh, oh, oh the Virgin oh, Islands. They needed the very sets of places to be from. Um, no, oh, but that. God. Needed him to be from uh, like because uh, he's described as Fijian or Samoan in Samoan, uh, yeah. Samoan. Yeah. Oh, but that doesn't uh, necessarily mean oh, now. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Is it French, French Polynesia? Is it French Polynesia? One thing I can tell you is that some people in the chat have got this right. Well, that I'm not looking at the chat. That doesn't yeah. happen. And that's exactly the point. <laughs> so Anil's final answer is French Polynesia. Any other takers? We've had the Virgin Isle of Wight, French Polynesia. Sorry, what did you say? Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands. Uh, uh, Ireland. Ireland. I've got, I'm going to stick I've got with the this. Caribbean Islands. It's, uh, it, it's, an, uh, it's a, a group of islands. It is. Uh, okay, perfect. Yeah. If it's, if it's Hawaii, I'm going to be pissed. It's. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got this wrong. Someone has redeemed Smirk, you douche. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Gotcha! <laughs> um, well, if that... If uh, Philippines. Frank, I'm going to have to push you for an answer. I said the Philippines! What? Are you not coming through? Frank... Are you... No, I can't hear you. Frank, what did you are say? Are you answering, Frank? What was that? Am I alive? Am I here? Frank, yes, you what? are. The Philippines. Okay. All right. So, I, I'm going to kill you. I know you are. That's why I'm glad I'm over here. Um, so, the correct answer. The correct answer was... Someone in the chat said Ohio. The correct, oh, hi. The correct answer oh, hi. was... The Maldives. So, so a very well done to all of the people. Now, I saw a few of you say the Maldives in chat. So, very, very well done uh, if you did say the Maldives. A lot of people are redeeming hydrate, but I don't actually have anything left. I've drunk mm. all of my beer. I've drunk all of my water. I have nothing left. Bodily fluids. Have you got squash? No, I haven't got anything near me. I've just oh, got. Jesus. I've just got brookies. Stick a lemon in a blender, Tim. Yeah. Mike. Mike. Tim. I did the margaritas, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> this happens a lot more Over frequently there. than people realise. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Hydrate or dihydrate. I and, will, and, don't and, worry. And now, yeah. and now, chat, you're seeing a, a, a great insight into uh, meetings at Rusty Towers. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're all like this. I'll just stick yeah. a fork in it, Tim. Mike. I mean, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> that has definitely happened. Who mm. has Mike timming himself in this stream? Bonus points for them. <laughs> no, no bonus points for them. Please, can we not make Tim a verb? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> someone got bingo. Hey, someone got bingo. Well done, with Bingo! Yeah, Withmore Tim got game, bingo. Actually. That means we've had our second winner of the quiz so far. Oh, my oh, goodness. Okay. Withmore, well done. Goodness me. I didn't realise we were going to get this far already. So, guys, question three. We're on question three of this round. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> how how many statements in season four are genuine encounters with an emerging new power, i.e. the extinction? One. Oh. Good question. It never exists. Nobody knows. Uh, Nobody is sure. Take better with Fake news, mate. Because I, mean, no yeah. I had to clip it for the thing. <clears throat> 
And now this is going seven. Two. It's two. It's Six. two. Five. It's two. Okay, Four. so Annie's saying two. I'm saying one. Nico's saying one. Four. Who said four. four? Martin said four. Martin said four. Martin said four. Martin. I think there are, th if I remember correctly, there's either three or four statements related to this. Uh... Some people in the chat are saying 6.9. Interesting choice. <laughs> <But case. it's... laughs> Good work, chat. Nice. Wait, one, two. Nice. It's, hang on. So here's no, the thing. Hang on. I, I, Num at the risk of aiding my competitors mm. here, that I edited, oh. I edited two uh, fake out ones. There are two that that are believed to be extinction and are not. Right. That, yeah. As it is revealed through the statement, and then I believe there are two genuine. Yeah, because the because the because there's concrete jungle. There's yeah. uh, oh three three oh there's three. Because I forgot Concrete Jungle. There's Concrete the Jungle, there's the Numbers yeah, Station, the and there's the one with the Inheritors, the ones who will inherit yeah, the, exactly. the ones um, who come after humans, I yeah. I thought there's also... Isn't there a fourth one? No, no there's two more... Um, what's his name statements? Um, oh my god. Martin. Gertrude's friend. No, Gertrude. Oh, yeah, yeah, Martin, Martin. but Gertrude's friend. Yeah. The uh, one who what? I know should be played by Idris Elba if Martin. this were ever made into a movie. What's his name? Oh, oh uh, Adlar Decker. Adlar Decker, thank you. I like that everyone got a dog. Yeah. That. <laughs> everyone that. was on that train with you. Um, yeah. <laughs> swoon, 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 Adlar Decker. I'm going to so, go with inconclusive. I think there's a few yeah, that I think could be uh, the uh, the extinction, but no one is really three. sure I'm even a thing that's one. actually okay. happening. All right, okay. Um, so go, Annie gets yeah. a metaphorical point for mentioning Adelard Decker and the relationship Ooh. to uh, <laughs> to Edris Elba. Um, <laughs> what are your <laughs> What are your final answers? Three. Well, oh. I think I think the answer is I think the answer is inconclusive as well. Uh, so you guys are both inconclusive. I heard a three. I heard a one. Hashtag unclear. Yeah, I said one. Unclear. Lid says unclear. Nico oh. says one. The correct answer. Correct. And there is an extra point that I'm going to give out to someone for knowing this bit as well. Good. The correct answer is four. And I'm going to give... Uh, and right and I'm going to give a bonus point to Annie, who knew that there are two False Alarm episodes as well. I edited both, so... I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's your purview, dude. That's your purview. Yeah. So the episode <laughs> numbers were... 134, Time of Revelation. 144, mm. Decrypted. 149, yeah. yeah. Concrete Jungle. And 156, Reflection. Hey, Which yeah, was the one with the numbers? Sometimes you just gotta say the numbers station. Yeah. Wait, Reflection, yeah. is Reflection the one in the theme park? I don't know. Possibly. The one with the funhouse mirrors. I thought that one was a fake out. Oh, I'm confused. No, apparently that I thought that one, I thought that one was I thought that one was vast. Uh, I thought no, no, that one's flesh. The theme park one's flesh because oh, we saw flesh, the starving yeah. cannibals on the other side of it. Oh Ooh. yeah, that's right. Nice. This is this is a very mm. wide-reaching <laughs> show. Yeah. It really is, <laughs> isn't it? Not <laughs> it's anyway. it's yeah. almost like it has some kind of mass appeal. Um, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah, okay. Question number four. When Annabelle Kane runs away from home, what type of store does she hide out in? Department store? Uh, I think it was like a old oh, no, shop. shop. Yeah, it was, it was like a snack shack. Yeah, or a snack shack. Yeah. Or a fish and chip, like an old fish and chip shop or something Yeah, like I think that. it was a fish yeah. and chip shop. Or takeaway, yeah. Yeah, somewhere like near, near a beach and abandoned like, yeah. like a snack shack of some kind. So the correct... Or a bookstore, just to be different. I'm sticking with... <laughs> You're sticking with what? Soup. Soup. Okay. <laughs> soup soup store. Yeah. Soup. Not a, no, 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 Wonderful. not a soup store. Just soup. All right. The correct answer is a fish and chip shop or a chippy. Yes. So well yeah. done yeah. if you guys got that at home. I know a lot of you guys did. Um, however, currently Frank is at the soup store. Frank, why are you at the soup store? Because I did. I'm at the soup. <laughs> <laughs> soup stall, coherent, soup stall. beautiful, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Combination soup stall. I want merch for that. Frank, <laughs> Frank where soup. are you? I'm at soup. Why are you at soup? I'm at soup. 
Because there's only soup at the soup store. No. <laughs> Frank is yes, soup human, soup. okay? Oh. oh <laughs> buying clothes at soup. Oh, my Lord. What a meme. Um, right. Question number five. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> for going along with me on that one. <laughs> oh my god. Question number five. In episode 152, A Grave Digger's Envy, what action does the Grave Digger take that causes him to lose his position at the church? He cuts the the bell. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, freelance. Freelancing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, kind of that, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give Frank a metaphorical point. But I love you. Uh... <laughs> I love you too, Lydia. I love you too, Lydia. Yeah, Lydia. <laughs> we all do, dude. We all do. So, for all of you guys who said that they cut the bell, you're absolutely right. Well done. They cut the safety they string off the, the bell. coffin's bell. It, yeah, it, they, they, they cut they the bell. Well, they did dig, but that's not what made them lose their job. This is more of a... No, that was their job. That was yeah. their job. <laughs> digging, in fact, was their job. Yeah. And, in fact, digging would have helped them to maintain employment. Um, yeah. This. Yeah. Unfortunately... I had a quick question. Sorry. Go Just, on, like, this This is, like, more of a... I guess Anno probably... Because Anno knows everything. But, yeah, um, like... Know. In what situations would a person just like be thought dead and buried alive, and then they like come like what? How does that did that happen in history? Yeah, severe. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they used exactly. to be. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes so, like, like, points. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Points for them. Yeah. 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 Y'all, y'all spoke at the same time, and I, I heard, I processed absolutely none of that. I was gonna say, <laughs> no, no one heard yes. any of that. <laughs> uh, uh, severe disease yes. would inhibit breathing and such yeah also if like sometimes because because like medicine uh, or, apo or like apothecaries medicines might have untoward side effects uh, that cause the appearance of death uh, but we're in fact just you know super deep sleep with shallow breathing uh um yeah it i i don't think it was commonplace but it no. was like it was more it was common zero. enough for them to put bells in regularly. <laughs> yes. like, right. It was greater than zero. Like it was greater than zero. Uh... Which is concerning mm. in and of itself. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Do you Speaking... know what it was that they found out? It was because they. It was. I think for some reason they were digging the graves up and they always found claw marks on the inside yeah. of the coffins. And that, that also was like, do a lot oh, of vampire really mythology. Long. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Points all round for that mm. knowledge as well. Then. Um. Excellent work, everyone. One more point for one, Martin. One more point for Martin. Oh, my <laughs> guinea pigs are screaming if you can hear them. Bring oh, yeah. They have a lot to say. Yeah, they they do. do. They have yes. opinions, apparently, about being buried alive. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't blame Bury them. them with a bell. I love that old creepy pasta about the woman who's like, let me out, let me out, I'm still alive. And the guy's like, you were buried two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> All right, speaking of creepypasta, question number six. After the founding of the Magnus Institute, how many years passed before the ritual of the Watcher's Crown was completed? Uh, 100. We don't, we don't, 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 years. Seven. We don't 200, know. 200. It was 210? The Watcher's Crown was, the Watcher's Crown was never completed. Uh... The actual, the actual ritual that took place, the actual ritual that took place at the end of season four was not the Watcher's Crown. Uh, um, That's true. Technically, jo Jonah Magnus technically tried to do the Watcher's Crown earlier, but it failed, which is Michael. why. Because he's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, essentially, like, essentially, the answer you might be looking for is 300, but... Um, I think it was more like 210 or 200 and something. I think it, it was, was around 420. But, te but the, technical, the technical answer is, I don't know, because the Watcher's Crown wasn't completed. <laughs> well, what exactly even was that ritual? Like, what was it supposed to do? That was supposed to bring the eye through, but it was the... Uh, but when it failed, Jonah Magnus realized that yeah. uh, that Smoke was right and you couldn't bring one individual. Then they were all pieces of a whole. Yeah, and just poke the eye through. Yes. No, no. You can't yeah. just poke the eye. 
Yeah, you, you can't just pop in a contact lens. You've got to bring in no. the whole You've got to bring the whole lot. That was the whole, a whole really man. Perfect. So the whole man. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's just one big man. <laughs> when fear is born one on big, Earth, be one, one big boy man. Boy. <laughs> he's a big boy man. <laughs> he's man. Whole yeah. boy. He's a big boy man. Whole <laughs> <laughs> boy. boy man. Big big boy. <laughs> um, Great big eye. So, with that in mind, uh, I'm going to give uh, Frankie a point because, uh, indeed, they were a bitch. Um, I... <laughs> hey. I... What? I am also going to give a point to Anil for the advanced knowledge on this one. Yeah, um, the correct answer, according to our season four editor, was 200 years. And I have the years stipulated, 1818 to 2018. 2018, yeah. That, yeah. So, but... points for 200 years, a point for Anil, and a point for Frank. Excellent work, everyone, <laughs> and great work if you got that at home as well. Uh, everyone is like, that's incorrect. I'm at home as well. Do I get to be at home as well? Or is that just for people who are at home as How well? How are you at home when the rest of us are not? Nah, you, you get How to be here and at home. Home and away. Well, no, you as we all know, I'm not at when home. You... I'm at... Yeah, okay. when you build all, all the systems, right. you get access to do whatever you want. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're, 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 we're all in rusty towers right now. Uh, yeah. Yes. I mean, that's yeah, where I, I am. I'm in the basement. Over there. Hi, of I can towers. see you from my desk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is. I'm yeah. stroking Nico's face. Listen to the stroking <laughs> noises that I'm making with, on with Nico's God. God. face. Is that how this... you stroke someone just by slapping this... them? With COVID <laughs> guidelines in place, it, we yeah. are we, yeah. we're responsible <laughs> if we're we are in fact in the same place. location. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, no, I, I my face. covered him in disinfectant before I stroked him. <laughs> oh god, you, why did you move? Like he's you moved in. Oh no, that reminds me. Oh you, that my remind, god. That remind, that reminds me of an Edinburgh show that I went to. Um, no way. No, 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 why? No, 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 why did right that? No, no, okay. It's whoa, 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 whoa! Give Anil the. I have oh. got to hear this story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, or rather, it's remind me of. So, a couple. Um, like this is pre all pre-COVID, of course. Um, yeah. So around Oops. this must be around 20, 2014, maybe 2013, 2014. Yeah. All right. Um, I was at a free fringe show up in Edinburgh at the Edinburgh Festival with uh, Steve Vilich, who played Hope, um, and mm -hmm. we were sitting front row of the uh, front row of the show. I can't remember what uh, who the comic was, but it was a uh, character sketch comedy. Yeah. And one of the things was a safety officer one of her characters was a safety officer and so she came around dispensing hand sanitizer um right. to, so to you the took front it row. from her so, and poured it all over yourself no oh no 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 um but so like little bit of hand sanitizer and then when she got to steve uh, she just stared yeah. him dead in the eyes and emptied the whole bottle of hand sanitizer <laughs> into his hands uh, oh, and it's like wow it's just, like looking at this that's and like so, that's so mean yeah. yikes <laughs> what if it's logic or anything well he wouldn't have put his hands out oh steve all right yeah that's a good point yeah, did, she, yeah. steve, did she just whisper filth into his ear as she did it <laughs> no, it was, no it was Vince just silent but just stared into his eyes as she did it and then went and did the rest of her set and it was like uh, <laughs> but it was, yeah, massively disconcerting. And Steve yeah. was sitting there with a double handful of hand sanitizer oh for god. just like half the show. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? Funnily enough, that's a really good segue into question seven. Uh, what? So, <laughs> who is it? Hand sanitizer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, John has to be marked by each entity of the watch for the Watcher's Crown ritual to work, hand sanitizer included. What event yeah. causes John to be marked by the slaughter? Taking the bullet uh, out of Melanie's leg. He gets really drunk, he gets slaughtered. <laughs> oh, <for goodness. laughs> to change my answer to uh, I agree with Martin. Words that have never been said before. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever had anyone agree with me ever since I've been here. <laughs> Yes, you are quite right. So the correct answer is Melanie's surgery, yeah. or more specifically, 
Melanie's yeah. reaction to the non-consensual surgery that removed a ghost bullet from yep. her leg. And that brings us on to a very good PSA, which is if you are going to practice surgery, make sure it's consensual. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes a life saving surgery yeah. can't, like... But also, don't just strap your friends down in the basement and rip things out of them, I guess. Yeah. Public service announcements. Do heard not it strap your friends down and rip things out of them without consent. And even if Rusty you do have consent, just double check the law in your area. It's a bit of a grey area. <laughs> Which brings yeah. us... Rusty Quill cares. <laughs> Rusty Quill Streams is a podcast. Rusty Quill Streams <laughs> is a podcast. It is presently. indeed. And in fact, Rusty... sp <clears throat> speaking of presently, question eight. Are you ready, guys? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. How many times in season four are John and Martin in the same season? Oh, for together? goodness <laughs> sake, what is that oh. question? Too oh, many. But this is Too many. No, season no. Martin, so like, no, oh, no, it, it, no, it, no, it, no. It should be relatively easy to work this out. Uh, so people in the chat are well, saying uh, 69 times. How many, times. How many no, scenes or how many episodes? How many scenes or how many episodes? How many scenes or how many episodes? Time, but they, because how because how they're only time together time in, time. I believe they're only in the same room or in the same place at the same time in three episodes, I believe. To answer that question, to answer that question, we're looking for the number Four. of episodes. You're correct. Oh, uh, three. Four. I'm sticking Four. with my answer of too many. Four. Too many. Three. Okay. Three. three. Yeah. I'm Four. saying two. Okay. Chat saying between Four. five and eight. Uh, between five and eight. Four. Three. Four. Three. Five. I got three. Minus six point nine. Uh, <laughs> four <Negative> minus <laughs> ish. Uh, okay. Four then. Um, uh, not enough. TT. Uwu. Uh, one five nine. <laughs> 160 does the season four trailer count no it doesn't gug the goose uh oh if episodes i'm going with four uh 42 five the correct answer four. is five and those oh! and those episodes oh, are the... one two, i can give you two four. of them i give you three of them go on then give us three one five four one five nine and one sixty very good you can have a point yeah. for that so I yeah, edited them. So you're right. One two four. Uh, yeah. one, one two four left hanging. One two nine submerged. One five four. Bloody oh, Mary. One five yeah, nine. The last. One sixty. The eye opens. I got. I need the last one. Yeah, I didn't know the first oh, two. Oh, good cow episode. What's that, Nico? Did you edit the episode where Martin's just locked himself in a room and is just burning the archives books and all no. that? No. Like, no, that's in season, that's in season three. three. That's to distract the oh. to get him arrested. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Sorry. Right. Too it's, many beans. It's time to, <laughs> it's time to crank the tension. Ooh. Oof. Ten. 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 Just ten. wait till season ten. five. Ten. 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 Hey, Mike. Rusty ASMR hours. Mike. Are... Hi. How are you doing? I... How are you doing, Mike? I... What's going on in here then? I dislike. <laughs> I dislike. I feel like I'm now out of control. Mike, you're doing a really good job. Which has 69 in it. So, very nice job. Very nice job. So, how much are we all have to break? Just wondering. There's Absolutely nothing. I've been um, so God, I hope nothing. Eight, 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 eight gin and tonic? Perfect. <laughs> how many ribs <laughs> does John possess? <laughs> At the end oh, of God. season four. <laughs> I, I don't like, know. Like, this is like, a normal like, amount. Like a prop hunt? Like he's in Two the ribs. Ribs. <laughs> Let me count my ribs. Num yeah, one no, fewer than he started ribs. with. Two. One fewer than he started with. I don't know how many he started with. Four, yeah, so we don't know how many he started with. So one fewer than six, he began with. Seven. Two fewer than he started with. No, one extra because he still has the I'm going to say. And it grew back. I counted my ribs. He still technically possesses it, yeah, so... I counted uh, my ribs. So yeah, I reckon he's got 25 ribs left, because I think I've got 26 ribs in me, I think. Yeah, I think he's got 25 as well, because I think it's 12... You've got 12 sets of... You've got 12 sets of ribs, sir? How uh, exactly are you counting why, your ribs? Why can I not remember... Why can I not remember my physiology lectures, sir? Uh, 
Ah, oh, come on. So basic, this is basic anatomy, Anil. You should know this. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 We, we, we all know it. Do yeah. surgery on your Mike, friends. Exactly. Mike's waiting face is delicious here. Oh, and there it goes. No. Uh, there it oh. goes. I'm gonna stick with 25 as well. I'm gonna say 25. No, hang on. Have you ever done a Jim Carrey Grinch impression? Because you've got the eyebrows to pull it off if you wanted to pull it off. I've never done a Jim Carrey Grinch impression, I'm afraid. I'm just, I'm just saying. I think it's in your skill set to pull it off. Yeah. How many ribs did Jared take out of him? Was it one or two? One. He took out two, but he still got one left because it's in his death drawer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, because Jared took two, Jared kept one for a for a treat. Himself, yeah. And John has the other one. But didn't didn't those two grow back, though, because he's an archivist? That was the inquiry. Yeah, that's not in the eyes wheelhouse of powers. They don't get three ribs with every, like... No, no, he did. He got... He got impervious to jam. To get a, he got impervious. He got impervious-ity, impervious-ity, impervious-ness to damage. It is, it is uh, oh, okay, I thought. I thought he'd just be like, "Yeah, it's fine. Uh, they'll come back music. because I return to a default state, <laughs> like that? Wolverine." Yeah, ceaseless like, watcher. Turn uh, your gaze you... on these ribs right here <laughs> because I'm quite <laughs> sore right <laughs> now. <laughs> that would make the Marilyn Manson joke. See, Seth Watcher, turn your gaze yes. upon these ribs because I want a nice meal oh. for dinner. Annie, yes, I've been banned exactly. from... I, people shield me from AO3 and they specifically <laughs> told me not to search John Ribs and Marilyn Manson. I was like, okay. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. No. 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 Criminal. No. 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 Yeah, I told you I've been shielded. I'm not allowed to see, but they told me I'm not allowed you're to not search allowed, those no. words. Good. You shouldn't so, be. No. 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 Nico. No one I'm should so search those Nico, words. Nico, no. So that you brought that idea into my head. I'm so bummed. Nico, no. Minus 10 points. No <laughs> way. Oh, for real. Get oh, out of here. Man, so hard. Why? Bring it up. Yeah. Oh. Minus okay. 10 yeah. points. I have more ribs than hard to now. Good God. I told you, this... Jammy Dodges. Annie was the one talking about Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Two <laughs> ribs. Carried on Let... the conversation. Guys. Wait, does he guys. have any ribs that he didn't grow himself? Guys, can we? Yeah. I, I'm going to have to push yeah. you for an answer, I'm afraid. I'm going to say 25. 25. I'm going to say 23. Yeah. So I'm gonna say 24. Four. I am going to give everyone who said 23 or 24 points because the correct answer is 23, but there is yes. also one in his cupboard rather than in his ribcage. So, yeah. imagine just yeah. keeping your rib in a cupboard. Oh, yeah. Doesn't, the, by my doesn't the 23 include the one in his cupboard? Yeah, so if he has 22 plus the one in his desk. Oh, no, you or... are right. Yeah. yeah, so that would be 23. But in any case, yeah. I'll give you points if you said 23, or well, why not 24, because I've already said Yeah, that. Plus, a mi plus a minus one. We'll, we'll allow that. So. All right. Uh, and the last, the last question <laughs> of season four. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> Chuck. Yeah. <I> know. <laughs> Who in 1867 sends a letter to Jonah Magnus, pleading with him to give up his grand scheme? It was me. It was Frank. Was Frank. <laughs> oh. it was Frank. Not Basira. Was... Frank specifically. Yeah, yeah, no, it was me. <laughs> yeah, you know, in a uh, Twilight, when okay. Edward Collins yeah. been 17 for a really long time. Oh yeah. Could he have been right. 17 back in 1867 and sent Jonah Magnus a letter? <laughs> no. Definitely. What, what like, Definitely, in Back to the Future? The Twilight no. universe is actually set no, in the Magnus no. universe. No, 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 it facts. isn't. No, it Real isn't. true facts. Absolutely not. It's no, it not. isn't. Not only is it not, but also he gets, he dies during the Spanish influenza. Well, this is why I was so, asking. As we, which is 1820? No, uh, Ooh, 1920. 1920. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. 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 So it couldn't have been Edward Cullen. No, correct. Robert Smirk. No. This, is Smirk. This, is, this is Robert Smirk, I believe. Uh, I believe it is Smirk as well. All right, I will give you the points there. It is, in fact, Robert Smirk, and the episode number where that happened was 138. So well done, everyone. Well done. Nice. Points, points, points to everyone who said Robert Smirk. I saw all of you chat. Don't you worry about that. 
Great work. It was in fact. Chat must have won by now. Not, not a chat great must round. Have won by now. So no, they won. Yeah. It. Tot up your points. Let me know if oh, yeah. all they all lost for being fans of the Magnus Archives. <laughs> and then, wow. I mean, well, I mean, it's. I mean, it doesn't matter now. It's done, isn't it? <laughs> Tot up your points. Thanks, Tot up your points. Yeah. Let me know how many you've got. <laughs> chat. That goes for you as well. If you guys are keeping score at home, please do let me know how many you've got so we can compare. A few people have got 25, 41, 40, 33. Very good. E. That's uh, very close. Uh, 22, uh, 33, 26, 25. Wow, 45. 36.6969. Yeah. Incredible. Great work. Minus 10. Very good. Um, Yahtzee. Oh, someone's got Yahtzee, everyone. We've had our first winner. Oh, hang on. No. No, 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 yeah, what? we can't. No, no one can have Yahtzee because surely that's copyright infringement, and uh, we, we'd be sued by um, the escapers. Blatzi? <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they will get sued because they got it and we didn't. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. There you go. Oh well, someone's got Uno as well. Oh my God, we've got so many winners. We've got, we've got so many winners. All, all these people who are shouting bingo. I'm afraid we've already had bingo. Bingo happened about yeah, an hour ago, someone. unfortunately. So, oh, I'm at a touchdown. Yeah, oh, a touchdown. Oh, incredible. That's another three points right there for the touchdown. Yeah. Great work. Mm -hmm. uh, anyone shooting from the three? point line because oh. we haven't had any of those yet monopoly uh, yeah. good lord yeah. <laughs> someone, had a mono someone had the monopoly oh wow someone someone's monopoly. actually oh. got monopoly oh, in this game, game. Oh, no, 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 although if, if, wow. well, if someone had the monopoly we've got to get the um uh the the merger uh oh damn it i've missed that joke. <laughs> 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 come on adil the merger, on, the merger on, monopoly gonna, commission on them i was gonna suggest if they have a monopoly we should just eat the rich yeah exactly eat the rich when, when, when COVID's that over, me. everyone come round to my house and we'll play a nice, good, lovely game of Monopoly. Monopoly. Oh, we will play Monopoly. A little Monopoly where we will never be friends again well, after that day. Yep. That's I've actually never game. played Monopoly before. Well, there you are. So you, that's why you still have yeah. friends, Reese. <laughs> the banker usually wins, believe it or not. Play the banker because, yeah, you pretty much always win. <laughs> All right, so how many points did you get? We'll start with Anil. Uh, I'm on 36 plus 3 metaphorical points. 36 plus 3, three very good. Points. I'm on 35 plus 4 metaphorical points. Ooh, so it's very Ooh. close at the top. Ooh, Ooh. it's all to play for. Oh, how many real points are a metaphorical point worth? They are. I separate. think we'll find out at the end. They're only used in, in the event of a tiebreaker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, oh man, someone rolled a nat 20. Frank. Perfect, that's 20 oh, points. Nice. Well done. Sweet. Roll no, to confirm. Damage. Roll to confirm. No, no, there's no roll to confirm. I'm taking no, it as a flat no. roll and I'm calling it 20 5B. points. 5e. Yeah. <laughs> Not 5e. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll disregard 5e. <laughs> oh my god, Valkyrie Sky found Waldo. <laughs> oh my god, that's got to be at least 40 that, points. Jeez. How many, sorry, how many points did we get here? So, 15. I have. 15, very good. I have 16 normal points, yep. one lucky bones point, two okay. metaphorical points. Perfect. And 10 negative Nancy Mike points. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Which is how many how many quilly willy points you got, Nico? Stop with the quilly willy. Hasn't even started no. on the quilly willy points oh yet. Yeah. <laughs> you have a number wang as well over there. Fucking hell. Uh, is there number no, what? Yeah. Someone got number? That's number <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, is got, very much is number wang, whoever, whoever got number wang has in fact won so well done oh my god yeah end of point <clears throat> i don't know how many uh i think i've got like 27 how many rounds have we played god Ty, i'm losing my mind Ty, i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you one metaphorical point for losing your mind um <laughs> thank you thank you um i have like a, a bunch of points and i'm just <laughs> Perfect. Ty, oh, Ty has got a um, bunch. Eliz uh, Elizabeth asks if anyone is on Mornington Crescent yet. No, because unfortunately the Northern Line is in Nip. Uh, <laughs> what, what, oh was that a set? What? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> I've got 12 points. <laughs> Great work, <laughs> Reese. Wow. Oh, I, wow. I am proud of you. Right then, guys. Jesus. As you can see, oh God. Uh, this is this is Big season five. Vibes. So, 
all of the questions in this section will be about season five of the Magnus Archives. Are you guys ready? Oh, uh, this is this. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Yeah. All right, this is this. Yeah. Is where Nico and I really get into the Neeks. This is where Nico and I get intense. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Except the first six, seven episodes, I don't know too much about, but after that. Well, Nico, speaking Ah. of the first six, seven episodes, which is the first episode of season five where John tells Martin he loves him? He says, I love you, let's go. No, he goes, I love you. And it says, I love you too, let's go. What episode's that? One, six, one. one. Oh, I don't know. I wasn't in that episode. I was in It's, it's, yeah, episode one, or sorry, 162, rather, the second episode of the season. Yeah. Because yeah. cozy cabin. Yeah. No. Hang on. Which one is cozy? Because there's dwelling and there's cozy cabin. Which way round is it? Is it one six two? Dwelling. Dwelling is one sixty one. Dwelling. I, I'm pretty sure dwelling is no. 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 Cozy cabin's one six one because I edited that. I did not edit one six two. So I think it's. So it's yeah. Dwelling. So is it one? Is it one sixty two? Well. Yeah. Yeah. I can tell you that the correct answer is actually one sixty one. Oh. Um, John does actually wah, tell Martin wah. that he loves him in episode 161. So very, very yeah. close. Points if you said 161. Well done at home. It does, in fact, mm. in fact, the rat gesture has actually pointed out, I love you, I just need more time, is in fact uh, the line. Very, yeah, very sweet. Yep. Very, very yeah. sweet. And then in the original cut, they made out solidly for 10 minutes, but then they cut Yeah, out. it was a nightmare. I, I'm glad yeah. they decided to cut the whole thing before it finished with all the, the mouth not, sound I removal. was very into it. So yeah, many slapping it, and back back mouth end, noises. So. Yeah. Good lord. So <laughs> much flapping, yeah. Um, so, question number two. Speaking of uh, flapping, Gertrude inherited <laughs> one, oh. one assistant when she oh. became archivist, yeah. Fiona Law. What is it that saved Fiona from being a victim of most, but not all, of the powers? She had she powers. She would always push someone else in in front of her. She'd always make someone else go in to danger. <laughs> Isn't she the one that thinks? Or is she the, the one time? who's incompetent? I is it? Is it not that Gertrude? She fainted. Oh, she fainted. She, she fainted. Was the right. one. She fainted. Yes. She fainted. Damn it! Yeah, she fainted. Is that your final answer? Yes. Well, it, with it looks like it looks like Reese has saved your bacon here because yes, yep. in fact, she did faint. That is the reason. Well done, chat. Um, a few people said kneeled over. That's not quite the same as fainting, uh, so you can't have a point for that one. Um, <laughs> kneeled over. Kneeled over. Yeah. Uh, if you said keeled over, then you get the point. Yeah. Absolutely. You land uh, on your knees over. Yeah. <laughs> now for. A, Finn, on she was praying really hard. Finn Kadid, yeah. for a minute then, I thought you said Shrek shaved her. I was like, really? Uh, <laughs> I don't think no. that would save anyone from any power, to be honest with you, but yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's an entity in and of itself. <laughs> oh, my lord. Speaking of which, question number three. How many times does Martin restart his conversation with the tape recorder in episode 170? Oh, God. Um, um, this is I edited this. this is, yeah. Oh, no. but it was, that was your... Annie, do you include? So Annie, do you include when he starts at the beginning of the episode? I'm not going to tell you. How it says? Okay. How many times did he restart his conversation? Okay, gotcha. So I'll leave you to have a think about that, guys. Any thoughts? This is a complete guess. I don't remember. I don't recollect no, I don't. Um, how how many oh. times. Uh, th- I'm going to say three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say five. <clears throat> three, four, four, two or more. Two, two plus. <laughs> Perfect. N. Oh. N. N time. N, N to... times. Very good. I had to dwell on this episode for so long and keep taking breaks on it. I really should know. But that's yeah. probably why it's messed up in my head. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... I'm going to say three. The correct answer is five. Fuck! Uh, so, with five. well done yeah. everyone who said five at home. Now that was a particularly difficult one. So very, mm-hmm. very well done um, if you did. In fact, if you got that one right at home, uh, you can have one of Nico's points. So, <laughs> wait, is this, uh, my, no, question, which, my, which points? question number which, four. Which, which points though? All of I've them. I've got four. You can, well, you can choose mm, whichever one you want. Mm, um, you're not having my, my metaphor called a lucky bones. You can have to do this. <laughs> you know, oh. regular, the, the regular points. So, 
Question number four. Which characters does John successfully smite in season five? One point, I... one point for each one. Oh, yeah. Can I try first? I want to try. You can try yeah, first. Like Go on, Reese, the floor is yours. Go ahead. Um, it was... Oh, wow. I'm suddenly... It, I'm going to say not Sasha. So first mm -hmm. was the not Sasha. Okay. Then it was... Um, I want to say Jared. Ho oh no, Jude Perry, mm -hmm. Jared Hopsworth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's all I remember. Okay. Uh, that's Helen Richardson. Helen, and Helen. then Elias, I think. So I'm gonna. Well, it's it's the smiting. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't really I don't smite. think he smite Elias. Uh, yeah. No, it's um, more of a nice little punchy punchy. Breakin. He so, killed him. Oh, Breakin. Still works. Breakin. Not yeah. Sasha. Five. Actually, yeah, not is... Sasha, Jared Hopworth, uh, oh. Jude Perry, Helen Richardson, uh, Freakin. Is Lid still with us, by the way? Elias! We no, just heard it today! Lydia's gone no, he did... no, he we already had it. Oh, he strangled him, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. No, he stabbed him. Yeah. Oh, it was a stab? Yeah. I didn't get that. That makes sense. I feel like there's one that we're nice missing because I feel like there's one immediately after not Sasha because I was editing so many of them in a row. So yeah. many smitings in a row. I think that was Jude Perry that was after yeah. Not Sasha. Yeah, but not that Sasha. was like, that was five episodes later and I thought there was one in between. Didn't he, he kill that one from the end? Uh, no, no, he doesn't she, kill Oliver Banks. I remember she he, 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 he wasn't dead. dead. Yeah. No, because Martin was like, oh, um, Martin wants him dead. And he's just like, I'm not going to kill him just because yeah. you're jealous. Yeah, he skipped yeah. Oliver, he, he skipped Callum. Yeah. He, he skipped doesn't kill um, he doesn't there kill is... Jordan. Uh, maybe we yeah. didn't. I guess we didn't miss yeah, one. So five. So five. Uh, I so, still want to count Elias so... in this because well... he's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, the question is, do you count? Do you count? Because technically, he he invoked Ceaseless Watcher on Elias, sir. But it only cut his it only cut his power. It didn't yeah, kill him. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't think that counts. No, so I sure. don't think that counts. No, no. Uh, like Elias is a dumb bitch. Perry, but... Jared Hopworth. I feel like that should count freaking. because he, I think it's that was five. He, he invites he, the power. Well, yeah, but no one can really die within the the domains unless they're like in the end. So if he kills uh, well, Elias, give it as the name and then. Have... I'm really sorry, guys. Tell us I'm gonna right have to not. press you for an answer. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna say five. One point per name, he said. So one point per person. Yeah. Okay. So, so yes, Helen, oh. not Sasha. Not Sasha, Jude Perry, Perry. Jude Perry. Perry. Jared, Jared Hopworth, Jared Hopworth, Breakin, and, and, and Helen. Helen. And Helen, that's exactly right. Very well done, and a very Bingo. well done to everyone who got those at home. It was, in fact, the not Sasha or the not them in 165, Jude Perry in 169, Jared Hopworth in 171, nice. Breakin in 182, and then, of course, Helen in 187. So, very, very, very well done. I all of them except for Jared. I got Jared's old. And they all clipped. It was very fun. <laughs> oh boy. Martin, um, not Martin, Alex's voice Martin. trying to do Jared Hepworth was. Uh, Martin. He was so he, he had a cold Martin. that day Martin. and he just shoved his Martin. voice through so much to get the voice. <laughs> yeah. <on this. laughs> all right. So, speaking of our dear, beloved Martin. 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 Which tea Martin. variety does Martin hate? Lu Oolong. 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 A yeah, very, very long. good answer. Yes, in fact, it is Oolong tea. Oh, well done, chat. If you've got that at home, it's very well done here. Points all round one point. Always that bloody Oolong. Always that bloody Oolong. Always the bloody Oolong. Always the bloody Oolong. <laughs> I always found it hilarious that he's like, oh, I hate it when she would just make tea whenever she didn't want to talk. I was like, Martin, that's you. You did that. Like, all the first couple of seasons. That is you. Are your whole mirror. That was you. Well, it's almost like Martin has severe self-loathing. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> yeah. and, and avoidance issues, yeah. Like oh, he in says fact, in 198. In I fact, have self-esteem issues. Shocker. We have an additional. We have an additional point for someone in the chat. Obsessed, uh, obsessed Frenchie who said Oolong, and uh, that is in fact. <laughs> oh, oh, no, fantastic. I hated that. I'm banning them. From the chat. I'm, giving them artist, I'm giving them. I'm giving them two points now, just because Frank banned them. Two from the woo chat. points. No! <laughs> two woo points. Two, two woo no! points indeed. <laughs> that would be one eight. Question. <laughs> Question yeah, number six. Question number six. In which episode does Helen let it slip that they're about what? to pass Martin's domain? Slip. 
Uh, it's it's in two before they go into the next main. main. It's, it's called one, Monument. I edited yeah, it's it. One eight three because yeah. it's one the one. It's the big reveal. Episodes. Yeah, one eight three. Yeah. And Helen's all like, "Ooh, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go the long way or this way?" And John's like, yeah. hesitant. All right, it that's is, the one, it's a really good one. It is that's one eight three Monument. That's the one I put the in the transcript. The um, sound effect of extended sounds of brutal peer review were nice. <laughs> yes. oh, beautiful. Delicious. Wait, Anna, that was you? Yes. Oh my god, I love you. You're amazing for that. <laughs> beautiful oh, work, Anna. Line. Beautiful work. That line should be put in the MoMA. Like, that, that was the best line. I, I, Anna, uh, did you yeah. write brutal pipe murder as well? Was that extent? Was that you? <laughs> half me and half Johnny. Uh... Oh, yeah. beautiful! It's still, it's still good. Oh my lord! So, so you guys are getting some law here, hot law right off the press. No, hot. It's so weird. Hot, hot. It's hot. Like thinking... hot. It's hot. like thinking back when we're going through these episodes that I edited because oh I can my... remember exactly where I was and like what it was like when I was editing them. Because uh... I was in my parents' house for the summer during this one, and it was like 108 degrees Fahrenheit outside. So I was just wow. melting alive editing Monument. Speaking <laughs> of kind of sticks speaking of, of you, speaking of Annie going to so alternate much. domains, <laughs> question number seven: How <laughs> many <laughs> domains do John and Martin encounter on their way to London? Oh, 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 the... Some. So it's Wait, oh, does that include? Yeah. Are you including like um like the soup domain, like the ones that are like a mix of things? The like, are those soup domain. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they, they say like, oh, the fears are more like soup instead well, of like yeah, whatever. They're, they're like, still yeah. unique. The these, soup domain. I remember that. To, yeah, yeah. to answer the question, to answer the question, these are the clear cut yeah. domains that they have been through. Yeah, the soup domain is Frank's domain anyway. As it is. Yeah. That's true. That's weird. No, it's, where, it's the domain where I'm trapped because I fucking hate soup. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out so why, why were you at the soup store then? Because it, I had to go to the soup hate store. There was the, soup. Hate crime. <laughs> One nine five is actually John and Becerra just going through Wait. soup. No, it's on their way. It's on their way to. Oh, it's on, on their way, way back to... from soup. Which... I can fully see the soup sketch. You just can't... like Becerra on the phone and John at Whoa. soup. Does Hilltop Road count as a domain? Yes. No, but they don't go to Hilltop Road before they go to London. They go to Hilltop Road after. Oh, sorry, it's on their way to London. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On their way to London. Oh, yeah, so after, after they get to London, London, then we don't count them anymore. Uh, yeah. So, which episode... Which Does episode London they count as a domain? They one answer, yeah, I mean, London is the highest domain. Yeah. Yeah. 87... 87. Okay, so I remember there was that, uh, that, that clown domain... Not clown domain, what am I thinking of? Where, the one where he did like slam poetry as like a state. The carousel. That, that was, was that the was carousel where he killed, where he killed yeah, not Tasha. Yeah, that um, was the first one I did that season. We can't, we can't like. So one eight, so one eight seven is the one where he kills Helen. No? Is it one yeah. eight? It's one eight nine that they get to London. No? Well, it's one eight eight is when on like the outskirts of London. Okay, so if we count up as... to one eighty, yeah. So if we count one eighty seven, th... so one sixty two, one sixty two to one eighty seven is twenty five episodes. There's of... one in there that's not a domain, which is the one about Gertrude and her assistants. Okay, everyone, Mike's yeah. not here. Post memes. So that's, that's twenty four. There's Prime two. Time. There was two episodes spent in Salace. Well. Actually, because so Salace is, is not a domain, Salace is like, not a domain. So but only one of those, only one of those episodes were because in one of those episodes they were in the graveyard domain beforehand. Yeah. So only one of those is wholly in Salace's domain. So 180 is That's the one true. in the graveyard. 181 is the actual. So we take two places. off 25. So it's 23. 20, it's 22 or 23? I think it's 22. I believe it's 22. Because we take off the. F yeah, 20. I, I'm going to say 22. I'll go with 22. I trust you. I'm going to go with 20. <clears throat> a very interesting Four. guess. The correct answer is 24. Oh. And these domains are the trenches, the sick village, the carousel, the worm tunnels, the roots, the burning building, Martin's House of Fog, the mortal gardener, the theater, Night Street, the path of the Colossus, the ruins, the Pax Forest, Wonderland House, the processing line, the furnace, the necropolis, St. Bleedings, the monument, the ant hill, the prison, Martin's domain, uh, Helen's hotel, and the suburbs. Or if you want to be pretty, oh. you could call it 25, 
and say that includes Upton House. Yeah, right. wasn't it? Oh, we, we, we discounted the suburbs, so uh, so we were one. Yeah, we were one off. Which we one to be off. fair, one away. To be fair, is not bad. Uh, really, yeah, really not definitely. bad at all. Really not bad at all. Very, very well done. An incredible work if you manage to get that at home. That brings us quite nicely onto question eight, and we're nearly at the end of the quiz. Man, oh, the boy. big, the big Ooh. heckin' quiz is nearly over. <laughs> uh, the end of the Magnus quiz? <laughs> it's the end of the Magnus quiz, indeed. It's coming to the end, That's at the least, anyway. That's the most significant end today. So, <laughs> question... That's going to be... Oh, sorry, you say, Frank. Sorry, Mike, say the question. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. That, do you know what, Nico? Right, right, no. that, you, do you know what, Nico? I'm thing. gonna give you a metaphorical point for allowing me to say Thank the you. question. Thank you very Thank much. You. Oh, well. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Question number eight. The statement of episode 189 peers includes the sound of quote three men in defined suits end quote laughing. Which Rusty Quill member is the uncredited performer of said guffaws? Ooh. So here's my reasoning for this. I edited 189. If you if you it's edited it, Nico, then Elizabeth, probably answer Elizabeth. probably save your answer until last because you're probably more likely to know. <clears throat> so save save your answer till last, Neeks. Have a little think about it and leave the other guys to guess first. Alright. Mm. Three men in fine suits <laughs> laughing. A few people have guessed in the chat. They've said James Ross. <laughs> what? I wasn't listening. What's going on? They've said Paul Rudd. Would it be... Do... Oh, I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to say it's Alex. Uh... Okay, I'm going to say Alex as well. Alex. That was exactly Some people have said... I'm going to go with Bryn. Some people have said Dino Nuggies. Uh, Bryn, Bryn Nuggies. Because uh, we were home recording at this point, so I don't think he would have got someone in to just to do that. I think it would have yeah. just been Alex. Some people have said me. So but, here's but, the thing. Yeah, I think. If it was any of the actual cast, they would have been credited. It's Elizabeth, because Elizabeth I did the soundscape. I'm changing my answer to do thing. Liz as well. This is definitely Elizabeth. So, what was your reasoning then, Nico? Voice. Because you were talking us through it a minute ago. Oh! Well, that's what I was saying. Oh, oh, oh. I edited 189 and I didn't edit that thing, which means Elizabeth did it in the soundscape. So it's either yeah. Elizabeth found the sounds of it or she did it herself. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I don't remember what it sounds like, so I unless Elizabeth asked Johnny or Alex to do like a laugh. I'm gonna need your final answer, Nico. <laughs> I'm gonna say Elizabeth, but now I'm gonna get told off and gonna say it's wrong. No, because I'm seeing what I'm seeing what Elizabeth is typing in the other chat. So. I've, I've also <laughs> seen I've also seen the spoilers that Liz posting in chat. So the correct <laughs> answer is actually Tim Meredith uh, was the voice, the oh, uncredited no. voice uh, of the three oh, men in oh, fine oh, suits oh, from episode one eight nine. So Tim, I did Why not know that. Why would you Tim Meredith for something? So Tim Meredith is in the Magnus Archives, and we don't give him credit for it. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Tim Meredith. It's, wow, it's because Crim Tim is apparently too too much for even the credit section. Um, I did not. I did bit. not know. I did sorry, not know bit. that. I should probably credit him. Uh, it's because uh, yeah. if anyone if anyone had mentioned it, Johnny would have quit right there on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh my god. All right, guys. Penultimate question number nine. How no, many. Oh, still going? How so many seasons? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. technically, technically he, uh, as Elizabeth says, he's an SFX, so uh, he doesn't. Uh, <laughs> so not exactly. Not technically a <laughs> Uh, is, that man is a walking sound effect. <laughs> he's an SFX. Wow. I mean, yeah, that is very true. How many season five episodes have at least one scene set okay, in I need to write London? Down. I'm guessing um, 11. Uh, four. Well, um, some of them. This is the thing, because I don't know the London geography. So are we including Hilltop Roads? No, that's not Hilltop Roads in Oxford. So he states it, he about... states it in, 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 the, in, in text. He says, uh, all, everything in London is an I domain. So, but what's a web domain outside London? When he's talking to so, wait, hold on. Oxford currently... isn't in London. Oxford isn't mm. in London, I'm afraid. No. What? Oxford okay. isn't in London. It's, not about, about, it's about seventy miles west of London. 
uh, I guess we should discount 198, which is the vast, and then 195, which is a sort of dark. Slice. No, it says one scene set in London, and the, the the vast one is in the tunnels at the end. They have the whole conversation oh, yeah. in the tunnels at the end yeah. in in 198. So we've so got 195 one... doesn't then. So 18. So it's 18. 188 is where they arrive in London, isn't it? To... Yeah, that's kind of yeah. I, it's dependent. So one, yeah, one eight eight one eight one ninety one nine one, then one yeah. nine two one nine three are both set in the Panopticon. I have nine. Yeah, but that's nine. still. Yeah, Four, I would like to change arguing. my answer to seven. I might have missed a count. One nine six one nine seven is hilltop or walking to hilltop. What's the thing? Martin and Annabelle yeah. walking to hilltop. Oh, Mike's blasting off. So we have got 196. Bye, Mike. Yeah. Oh, he's coming oh, back. Let me, read, yeah. let me redo my count one time really quick. Oh, he yeah. hit the roof. Oh, he's in front of the nine. Um, that's important to know. <laughs> Nine's in the background. I've got to write this down. And when he made it back safe, just like one of... This is almost as good as those, like, rockets that Musk launches, isn't it? I think it's yeah. 10. I think it's nine, but let me do my count one more time. One. Can you do a flip, Mike? Or... I can't. I can't do a flip. I'm afraid. I've got oh, nine. No, I mean, do a flip like in real life, and then it will look like you're flipping. I've got nine. Oh. If you don't include, if you do a flip in real life, it will look like you've done a flip. Okay. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah, that is the special so... effect. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got nine. Does one eight eight? Is one eight eight one of them? No. Then one eight nine, one nine two, one nine three, one nine four. Is he going to get right into the corner? Is that why he's going to get And then one nine eight, one nine nine, and two hundred. If it's not one eight eight, yeah. If it's not one, if it's not one eight eight, then it's nine. But if it is, then it's ten. No. Oh no, you're right. It is ten because they step into yeah. London at the very end of one eight eight. So it, it's ten. Oh, you're right. Ten. It's ten. Yeah, okay, I'll go 10. If 196 isn't one of them, then it's 10. Look how proud of himself Mike is. It's, it's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? Well, we can't, we can't play the Jeopardy music, so he's got to do something in order while we're thinking. Yeah, true, yeah. I've been having a great time. I've got beer, I've got biscuits, I've got brookies, I've got Derek, I've got Chonko, I've been doing loads of stuff. Love, love me dipping <laughs> biscuits in beer, yeah. I think yeah. I'm going to say, I, I, I think I'm going to say 10. No. I'm saying 10 as well. Okay, I'll go with 10. Okay. The correct answer, according to what I have here, is 11. <clears throat> oh, so was like the first time? Because apparently, the, uh, because of the opening tapes, apparently, they have some recordings from London. So there's 162, 188, 189, 190, 191, 192, 193, 194, 199, and 2. Yeah, I wasn't, oh, I wasn't counting the... What the, a good trick question. Yeah, the birthday tape. Uh, oh. I'm still taking my point. I was right the first time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. no, you, you take that point. Uh... Well, there we go. So, for all of you guys who said uh, 11 at home, very well done. Are you ready for the final question of oh the huge chonking quiz of the season? Oh, I can't wait. Yes. I mean, yeah. I can. Have I really I bored you all that you much? Oh my lord. No, 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 no. I need to work on my quizzing. All right, no, fine. Is... We're, we're waiting in anticipation. Yeah. Anticipation. <laughs> question number 10. The last question of the huge chunking quiz of the season is who in a statement described as insecure is described as insecure, aggressive and desperate? Uh, to be taken seriously. So who in the statement is described Bichard. as insecure, aggressive, and desperate to be taken seriously? Elias Bouchard, like the actual person. Or the OG yeah. Elias in yes. one night. Yeah. Three. Yes. Final I answers, believe, everyone? I believe that it is actually one Jonathan Sims in the statement of Rosie and appointment. Well then, yeah. yeah, I think Annie's I, I right. I don't that, think yeah. OG Elias is a stoner who would not be aggressive. OG Elias in that statement is really. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe it. Elias, Elias was, a, was just a weepy idiot. Yeah. 
<laughs> Basically. <laughs> it is it is one Mr. Head Archivist of the Magnus Institute, Jonathan Sims. Yeah, I'll go I'll I mean, I'm going with I mean, he was a trust he was a trust he was a trust fund kid who was taken advantage of. Uh, yeah. uh, we I can go say yeah. in a lonely world. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm yeah. going. To, yeah, I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the rest of the folks and say the the archivist, uh, Jonathan. Well, I'm going to go with Jonathan oh, because oh, it's not the archivist at the time. I don't think. So you guys are saying, as a final answer, Jonathan Sims. Is that right? Yeah. Jonathan Sims. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Then you'd be correct. It was, in fact, Jonathan Sims. Wow, I was really Points. concerned for a minute then that you guys were going to go with Elias Points. Bouchard. I was like, wow, my lord. We Points. gotcha. Right at the end of the quiz. But no, you didn't. You brought it back. You brought it back. Um, so, guys. I'm very optimistic about winning. But that, <laughs> that is it. That is it for the huge oh, chunky it. quiz of the season. Tot up your scores. Let me know how many yeah. points you managed to get and what your final score is. Are those different numbers? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, for Nico they are right now, but I think for everyone else they should be the same. So, everyone in chat, let me know how many points you managed to ascertain. It's been really great fun quizzing for you guys. I hope you guys had fun. Fingers crossed. Yeah, um, that was... That yeah, that was about as chaotic and as as fun uh, as, as fun as I was expecting. So thank you very much. Mike. You are welcome. <laughs> thank you to thank Mike you. and and you managed to turn assume... well, Thank you to everybody who put the questions together yeah. as well. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Elizabeth yeah, and that. Hannah Fessenden guessing. Yeah, yeah. So the, I had a whole team. Us. I had a whole team behind this. Uh, so a huge thank yeah. you goes out to Lori, uh, Elizabeth, uh, Hannah P. And, of course, uh, a little bit of help from April as well. Thank you very, very much for helping me put all of these questions together, especially uh, at such short notice. Um, so I, I very much do appreciate it. Um, I, I did a little bit of helping, um, but, like, these yeah. guys are the real MVPs here. So a big, and big shout out to you guys. You you did great. Yeah, you did amazing. Sure. And I, really, I really appreciate uh, when I suggested a quiz and I explicitly said, I definitely want nothing to do with putting together the questions. <laughs> and then Mike texted me in the morning, like, hey, remember how you said you'd want to do it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I text Frank That's and was fun. like, hey, so you remember how you said you wanted to help with the questions? Well, here is the, uh, <laughs> here is the uh, list of all of the things that I want to potentially do. And Frank was like, Thanks for everything. I think you misread me, my dude. I probably shouldn't be surprised, but that you managed to turn what should have been a straightforward five round quiz uh, into yeah. lasting nearly three hours. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm pleased with us that it didn't last more than three hours, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. An hour per season. Yeah. Next time. Okay. Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> are, are we allowed to talk about Magnus 200 on stream or is that a no? No, we're allowed to. Is this, this is not oh, yeah. well I mean, I haven't right. listened to it yet, but right. I hear it oh. good. I, I'm dying to know did you bully Mr. Jonathan to get the last line in the show? Yeah, no, that was all him. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, was, I was so oh, shocked. Oh, yeah, Frank, it was a cracking last say, line, by the way. How did it feel great. to have the last line of the show? Yeah. yeah. Vindication! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Man. It made me very happy when I read it. It yeah, was an incredible do. line as well, Frank, and you delivered it excellently. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. Give all the love to Frank right now everybody yeah everyone send Give your love it. to frank everyone send your love to frank and of course yeah, all my I, lovely I contestants love in here. the form of uh pound sterling just hit up those deeps that. right there give them your amazon wish list give them everything <laughs> guys well I, i've got some sad Wait. news that oh. is it there is no more. The huge, oh, God. the huge uh, shocking quiz is over. There's no more Magnus yeah. archives. That's it. We're done. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's but there is plenty of There he is. Go on, go on, Anil. This was your plug. Go, go, go. 
There is plenty of uh, postseason content to come, starting with uh, next week. I believe we have got the making of Magnus of Magnus season five. Uh, um, uh, stay tuned to our social media for a uh, for a bunch of updates about what's coming next. But we've got a whole a whole heap of like cast retrospectives of commentary, and of course the Q and A. Um, if you have got a question that you would like Alex and Johnny to uh, to answer, or at least attempt to answer, because we are expecting a high volume of questions into the mailbag, uh, <laughs> the um, the form is open until Saturday, April the third. Um, but That's yeah, just basically. Time. Well, I mean, we give we we tend to give people a week to ten days after the after the season ends in order to think about Anil. to ruminate on those questions. Anil, uh, yes. Anil, plug RQ streams. <laughs> no, well, I was going to leave that. I was going to leave that. You don't to need you. to plug RQ streams. Be, be, They're here. Be, be. Before oh, we do yeah, our streams, go. before April yeah. murders all of us, <laughs> yes, we have a new show good. starting next Friday. Thanks for the right guys. Inexplicably <laughs> starting next Friday, <laughs> you may say. Oh, yeah. oh, the oh, Inexplicables, yeah. our Patreon uh, exclusive show. Nick starting no, I didn't get it. April. Uh, it sounded so like you made a joke, but I didn't understand. Oh, well, thank you for hosting <laughs> it's us. It's all show. I appreciate that. Oh, we're just about to end. <laughs> uh, so yes, if you are uh, if you are a patron, there will also be bonus uh, Magnus content there. But yes, as Friday, April the second, we kick off our six part Patreon exclusive uh, uh, dark comedy show called Inexplicables. Uh, All right. Uh, oh yeah, it's going to be so good. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Oh Stay yeah. Tuned to our Stay tuned to our social media at Rusty Quill on Thank Twitter or um, or Facebook, uh, and we will update you on all the goings on there. All and right, stay then, guys. tuned to hear my unofficial podcast called "Fuck You, Jerry Key." Uh, <laughs> and yeah, Listen. it'll be nothing but like rom com fan fiction that I will read, and that will be it. Perfect. <laughs> That Reese, you legend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, guys. I'm going to say goodbye to you now, and I'm going to round out the stream. Thank you so much for taking part in the huge chonking quiz of the season. Uh, which... Thank you for doing that, Mike. Thank you for doing it. It was so <laughs> much fun. Thank you, Mike. I will speak to you all soon. Oh, yeah. hey, who won, Mike? Who won the quiz? Oh, you all I did. <laughs> you're, you're all winners in my eyes, guys. Of course. You oh, are. thanks. Okay, thanks. but we need a, we need a specific one, please. Frank won. Me? Well, no one told me how many points you got. So, I mean, I I got forty-four. Seventeen. Forty-three. I got twenty-two. I, I got... Lots. I, I had a lot. I think we all won the quiz, and uh, I don't. I don't. I need to give a point. A total. I would. I, think, I would say Ty I'm won me. because I'm not we sure Ty's processed our uh, wages for this month. So Ty definitely won. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Ty. Well done, Ty. Ty, you absolutely <laughs> smashed this quiz. And and might I say how handsome you look as well. Uh, <laughs> stunning work, right, Ty. You. I didn't know how you managed to actually pull a 42069 win with a no scope <laughs> flourish <laughs> out of the bag, but I'll tell you what, you did it. He did it. Yep. Yep, he really did. I, so, I think any, any 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 independent adjudicator will have no qualms with that whatsoever. All right, then, guys. Thank you so much for playing. Well done to our winner, Ty. I will see you guys very shortly in the green room. Sure thing. Oh, yeah. See you, bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. 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 All right, then, guys. That is it. It's over. There is no more. What a time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we have had such, such a good laugh today. We have had such a good laugh today. Thank you so much to everyone who has come to our celebration of the end of an era. And it truly is the end of an era. I know that there's probably going to be a lot of emotions riding right now. I hope that wherever you are, you've had a good time tonight. Thank you so, so much for all of your love, support, and everything during the process of us making the Magnus Archives. It is you, ultimately, who has made this all possible. So we are indebted and thank you so, so, so much for everything that you've done. Everything. Of course, as well, thank you so, so much for all of the bits and the donations and the subs that you've given here. It does mean a lot to us. And I think there's only one thing left to say, chat. 
And that is, for the very last time, Statement Ends. Statement Ends. Statement ends. Statement ends. Click.